Fuck all that. You don't look like this nigga right here? No, nigga. Not at all. You don't look like bro, bro. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can't that's, even. That's funny as fuck. The only reason I'm laughing is because, bro, we got the same, like, beard type shit. In Stop it, way. bro. You look like Dez Bryant, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong no with that, No, the fuck bro. I don't. Nigga be saying I look like everybody. I know people say you like Lloyd. I don't really yeah, see that. Yeah, I don't see that at all. That nigga Lloyd. I know they said it on, um, what's that show, Wild and Out? They said he like the Cleveland Indians logo, and he did. <laughs> you get no pushback on you being green. You agree? You finally agree? Shut up. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, we back. Start another the episode. episode. Huh? Start the episode before I slap you. I did already, nigga. It's right. real. I'm sorry. I mean introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Anthony. Somebody in the comments called me Anthony, like nigga, you don't know me, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> My name is Amp on here. They dress <laughs> me as such. Nigga say Anthony. I'm like, bro, who the fuck this nigga think he is, man? <laughs> That's your cousin. <laughs> it might be, bro. I don't know who that is. Might have been your ghost account. Chill out. I'm about to troll this nigga. Nah. I ain't gonna call you Anthony. All right. <laughs> so what's happening, man? You gonna introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. You know, they, I mean, they know me. The realest. <laughs> the illest. The realest. The illest. All right. Bro. You know. Like... I make uh what's what's brand name um that used to do the ring announcements his son do it now but uh Bruce something oh you talking about Bruce Buffer yeah Bruce Buffer that boy that boy would have to get get some flavor introducing my shit I wonder if that nigga on um what's that shit called where you get a celebrity to shout you out uh a cameo yeah possibly he ought to be let me see if this nigga on here bro yeah go ahead. <coughs> Get you a uh, Bruce Buffer Jr. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, I got no. Nah, I need a pop for. I never heard. He got a brother name. Um, hold on, let me look it up. Bruce Buffer got a brother. That's Dang. a lot of bees, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Bruce. So, Bruce Buffer. I said Bruce brother. Bruce Buffer. He got a brother that ring announced too. It's Michael Buffer. Okay. My fault. I didn't mean to point at you. That's rude. Uh, that was crazy too. <laughs> Bruce Buffer is the brother. Michael Buffer is the one you talking about. Apparently, like they they brothers, like they half brothers. Yeah, and they didn't know they were like brothers, and they nah, both then they both ended up ring announcing and shit. That's crazy. Daddy, daddy must have uh, been steering them niggas their whole life. Yeah, daddy. Put- hey, don't play sports, son. I want you in them stands talking about that shit. Daddy got that ring announced dick. <laughs> All right. That was, <laughs> hey, yo. I ain't. That, that crazy. sounded crazy. I ain't know how else to say it, but like, that what's the crazy. odds of you, like, I don't think he took, I don't know what jit it was, but one of these motherfuckers, he ain't really take care of him like that. So it's like, which one of them? Probably Michael Buffer. That's why we don't know that nigga. Michael Buffer is the most famous one. Bruce Buffer is the one. He did UFC. Bruce Buffer did UFC? Yeah. Michael Buffer did the, the, the boxing? Yeah, Michael Buffer, the famous one. Oh. He did, like, Ready to Rumble boxing, like, the video okay, game yeah, and all that yeah, shit. That's yeah, Michael yeah. Buffer. Okay, gotcha. Bruce Buffer, he did, like, UFC. Michael bro. Buffer used to be on that James Bond shit. That nigga used to come out to the ring cleaner than a motherfucker. Oh, his brother ain't clean? Look at his suit. I mean, yeah, his brother flavorful. Uh, you know, it's festive. Yeah. That nigga got a camouflage. It looked like... He got hit with a, a pride confetti balloon or something. <laughs> yeah, he ain't as famous as Bruce. I mean, Michael. Michael. I keep getting them mixed up. It's because of them suits. Pull up, Michael. Yeah, look at look at that suit. Look at that. That's that's Bruce. That's that, a good ass suit, that, actually. That Bruce Bruce. That's a good ass suit, yeah. I love that suit. Go to Michael Buffer. But see, I'm seeing a bunch of duds in that in that list. Come on, bro. It's like UFC, bro. You gotta like, you gotta yeah. ham, you gotta ham it up a little bit in the UFC, bro. I mean, yeah. <coughs> what's nah. uh, what's brand name from the uh, NBA that used to do the shit? Um, Craig Sager. Yeah, Craig Sager. Yeah, um, that's that's the type of time they be on. But like I say, look at him, James Bond shit. Nigga used to walk out clean as fuck. I know my job. I got one. I got one job to do, and I'm gonna do it well. They go to Buffer Boys right there. 
Buffer Brothers sound better. <laughs> Double B Buffer Boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Chat, let us know it sound better. Buffer Boys or Buffer Brothers? Yeah. Buffer Brothers sound like them niggas might be plumbers or some shit. <laughs> nah, Buffer might... Brothers sound like they kill motherfuckers. Hey. Like, bro, don't fuck with the Buffer Brothers. They, they, hey, they that's some real shit. You. That's some real shit. Them niggas are like the uh, brothers from London and shit. Um, fuck, I ain't good with names. The boys from London? Who you talking about? It's two brothers. One was a maniac, and the other one was a uh, like more calm and calm, cool tempered. But the one that was calm, cool tempered is the one that ended up getting them caught. If I ain't mistaken. Oh, I'm not. I'm not really sure. I was thinking about you. You ever watch a uh, Breaking Bad? Um, you remember the? I forgot the name of it. it was the uh, the t- the uh, Mexican twins? They were bald. And they were like running oh, down on yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Like they was like legit exterminating niggas. That's who I was thinking about. No, nah, man, I'm looking at Michael Buffer suits right now, bro. That niggas. The Cray twins, Ronnie and uh, Ronnie and Reggie Cray. I ain't never heard of them motherfucker. Yeah, nah, them niggas was was exterminators for real. You said the Cray what? The Cray brothers. Cray brothers. K R A Y. Yeah, no that shit Cray. You green. <laughs> you lucky the sound boy they not oh They're green ass right. nigga. These real niggas? Huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, they real people. Oh, I remember that. Tom Holland did a movie. He yep, played yep, both of them. Yep. Tom Holland <coughs> went crazy in that movie. I remember that. Crazy in that movie. He did a hell of a job in that movie. Man, that's green, bro. It's green. What what that's green? Man, he played two motherfuckers, man. And did a great job doing it. Nigga, what do you mean? Man, it's real twins out there in Hollywood right now. They they both living. They in a one-bedroom apartment in Hollywood. And them niggas they, couldn't act. They ribs touching. Them niggas couldn't and act. This nigga them, t- niggas couldn't, them niggas couldn't, uh, couldn't persuade. You know what I'm saying? Bro, now, he, if, if he was doing that in a black film, yeah, I, I'd be up in arms. Man, Fuck them nigga, crackers. Bro, this nigga took two jobs, Die. bro. All right, no, bro, I'm come joking. on, bro. I'm joking. This nigga took two jobs, bro. He could have gave somebody else one of them jobs. I can't even talk because Michael B. Jordan got a new movie out where he playing twin brothers. I'm not a huge Michael B. Jordan fan. That nigga got like two good movies for me, and one of them shouldn't even be a a good movie. You know to what I'm saying? Fruitville? Yeah. Hold on. Let's pull up Michael B. Jordan shit real quick. I think he tried. Uh, Just Mercy was fire. He acted his ass right, off in that shit. Let's turn it. Let's Him tone and it. um, what you call it? Jamie Foxx. Let's yeah. tone it down a little bit. It was you giving it a little bit too much sazoon. It was cool. I mean, they did a great job with that movie. I feel like this may sound crazy, and I'm supposed to be the nigga that I'm pulling it up because I think you like trying my dog a little bit. You might be on to something. Hold on, but I'm, but, but, I'm just yeah. saying that just mercy. He ain't have to do a lot. Jamie Foxx kind of like. Yeah, Jamie Foxx carried that shit. But <coughs> I think that's also why I'm I'm such a huge fan of that movie, particularly from him. Every other movie I've seen, that nigga overdoes it. Oh well, that new movie I can't play the trailer because I want to get copy uh, copyright. Bruh, worst southern accent I've heard. I don't know why like he. J- since like Jason's lyric back in the day, <laughs> bro, that shit was like the worst Southern accent. I'm still gonna watch the movie when it come out, cause Ryan Coogler directed it, so okay. I'm watching just off that. But that yeah. nigga Southern accent was so terrible. Where this nigga from, bro? Why your Southern accent is, accent so fucking bad? I don't know. He ain't never had a good accent when he was in. Uh, oh, he from he from California. Yeah, when he was in uh, the shit from Baltimore, he did not sound at all like he was from Baltimore. Uh, the Wire. I can't even remember the nigga. I'm talking about the shit. shit from Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I think I pull up the trailer. We just listen to it. Bro, The Wire, one of the greatest shows ever. Oh yeah, definitely. I never got when niggas was trying to y'all niggas spam in the snowfall better. I ain't. I ain't. I can't say that Snowfall is better. One because the it's ending of it, it's yeah, not even, it's not even close. Yeah, the ending of it isn't isn't uh, good at all, actually. But I do think there were points in the story to where they had the opportunity. All right, I'm about to give y'all a disclaimer. 
I'm about to play this this uh, YouTube video. An ad may play. I am not poor, y'all. I got YouTube Premium. I'm just not on my YouTube uh, Premium account. I'm on the podcast YouTube you page. So mm. I don't want y'all to think I'm poor or something like that when y'all hear this. If y'all hear this ad. So I'm just giving y'all a disclaimer. Is this the new one? Yeah, this is the new one. This is okay. the new one. Oh, I had a play, so I ain't even have to do all that. It's called Sinners. I just want you to hear the accent. Yeah. He ain't even try to lose none of that weight from uh, Creed and shit. <laughs> yeah. He like, I'm about to I'm in all over world. this world. I seen me and die. Ways I ain't even know was possible. Love you, brother. Be careful. All right. Yeah. <laughs> nigga said, I love you, brother. Be careful. This nigga ain't know which part of the South he wanted to be from. Oh Every my sentence God. sounded look, like. Look at the YouTube video. That shit say most replay. Cause everybody like, bro, hold bro. up, bro. This <laughs> ass dog. Right there, yeah. It's like, I <laughs> hey, know they ain't let this nigga slide with that. Oh my God, that's funny. That part with the Southern accent is the most replay. Everybody like, bro. Bro, hold up, bro. Let me rewind this shit right Brother. here. Brother. That nigga said. That nigga hit you with the Hulk Hogan. That nigga said, brother. Hey, brother. Be careful. Be careful. I will. All right. <laughs> this is, yeah. Uh, I really, I, I'm going to watch it. Because I ain't going to lie. It does look like it's going to be fire. Yeah. But. It looked cool, but. Yeah, them accents is just. Oh, my God. That was terrible. See, like. I, I'm I'm a huge fan of the cinematography <coughs> and shit. Yeah. Man, that looks like it was beautifully <coughs> shot. Shout out to Ryan Coogler. Yeah, 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 definitely. Or oh, they both directed it, man. You gotta give you gotta oh. shout out Michael B. Jordan, man. Oh, I ain't know he was directing a part of that shit too. I mean, um, kudos, nigga. Right, let's pull but up. But get out the game. <laughs> get out the biscuit business, bitch. <laughs> uh hold up, bro. So all three Creed movies fire. I feel like in, you could have put anybody in Creed, though. Oh, Lord. I'm not saying it to be like, he, give me a good black actor. Uh, uh, I can't. Uh, Denzel's son could have played <laughs> Creed, but he looked more like, uh, well, shit, he actually looked like he could have been Creed's son. Mm hmm. Okay. I, I just say it to say, like, a lot of people could have played Creed, uh, that, that that role. So, Creed, to me, is a e like, that's low-hanging fruit. I'm trying to think of what's that one nigga name that's playing he in the Michael Jackson movie. He playing uh, Joe Jackson. He a pretty good actor. Um, you talking about the little boy that was dancing outside the shit? Coleman Domingo. This nigga right here. He playing Joe Jackson. I can't tell. I can't tell a bro 30. 40 or 50. Man, shit. That nigga definitely looked like he in his 50s, bro. I don't know what <laughs> you smoking. That nigga at 30 <coughs> would be a menace. 35. He could probably, he could pass at 35. Fuck no. Yeah. Like, nigga, what do you do? Why you look so, how many kids you got? <laughs> no, I'm looking at Michael B. Jordan shit. Oh, Michael B. Jordan wasn't hardball. That don't count. The kid movies don't count. Yeah. And and hardball was made for a lot of other reasons outside of Michael B. Jordan. What the fuck did Michael... Oh, One time oh, okay. for G-Baby. Yeah, rest in peace, G-Baby. I was about to say, what the fuck did Michael B. Jordan do a Space Jam? But he was in that one part when Bugs Bunny was like, I got... He said, I got Michael Jordan to come talk to us. Yeah. And Michael was, B. Jordan yeah. pulled up. Green. Very much, actually. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're not giving me nothing, bro. Creed is Creed to me. Creed don't count, dog. <clears throat> Niggas was gonna watch the first Creed <clears throat> just off the strength of the Rocky series. You know what I'm saying? 
And niggas watched Chronicle. That was a good movie. Chronicle. That was when they all had them superpowers. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't seen. They that. were like flying through the sky. I ain't seen. Michael that. B. Jordan got his nose wiped in that movie. <laughs> I almost spit this shit <laughs> everywhere. He was like the only black kid, and they killed his ass. Damn, I did see Fahrenheit 451. That was pretty cool. I ain't see that one. It was decent. It was cool. Damn. Might be on to something. He's not that great an actor. When was he in I Am Legend? I know he's supposed to be doing I Am Legend 2, but I don't know about I Am Legend or the... They might just have him affiliated because of that. Oh, okay. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. That Fantastic Four movie. Two-pack of ass. It already came up? No, this the other one when they had when they did the remake two thousand fifteen. Oh, I ain't even. Yeah, bro, this was terrible. Oh yeah, yeah, I ain't even try to watch that, that one. one. That one was so bad. Bro. I ain't even try to watch that one. <coughs> Hear that shit? Oh, yeah. another reason, bro. That shit was so bad. They said, bro, they said, man, we gonna reboot that bit a third time. I legit gotta hear Raven reviews before I go and watch a, a Michael B. Jordan movie. Mm. So you saying none of the creeds count? I didn't see this right here without remorse. Nah, nah I, never I haven't even heard, seen that I one never either. heard anything about that movie. Uh, that, that, if I ain't mistaken, that one's on Amazon Prime. I think it's a Tom Clancy joint. Oh, Tom Clancy? It might be. Tom Clancy racist. He probably is. I just, I just made that up. Huh. I ain't see it. It say what? It say action thriller. I, ain't, I never seen that shit before. Yeah, I I, I ain't <coughs> watched it, but um um. If you if here's 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 what I would say. If you remove Creed, do you think Michael B. Jordan is a good actor? Uh, let's be honest, dog. You had a good point. I wouldn't necessarily say Creed. Anybody can you can insert anybody in the Creed. I will say this: it don't take much to do the Creed movies. Right. Right. You just box. You just got to be good at the choreograph. I ain't, I ain't going to say anybody because it's, it's some bad actors that can fuck that movie up. 100%. But I'm just saying, it don't really take much to do that movie. Uh, the, 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 the Rocky <coughs> series is built off that premise alone. Yeah. Uh, Sylvester Stallone did not know how to act. He wrote the film Living on the Street and for a lack of funds... Yeah, played the role, and even in the um the Creed movies, like Sylvester Stallone, he was carrying the first two. Yes, like his character was like the main part of the first one. Like, I think the second one was the main part. Was like, I might have him confused. Wasn't the second one was the one he he was trying to like see his son, and I think he saw his son at the end. I don't know. You, I, I, I ain't keep the, up enough. I, I know the first. Was. I know the first one was when he moved from L. A. Michael B. Jordan moved to L.A. to move to live with Rocky to start his boxing career. Mm-hmm. I want to say the second one was the one where he had cancer and shit like that. And he yeah. was like, me. Yeah, I think that was the second one. And then in the end, he met his son and his and his um his grandson for the first time. Okay. I think that was the second one. Rocky's son. Yeah, Rocky's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Michael B. Jordan's son. That'd right, be right, 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 right. Yeah. And then the third one, Rocky wasn't in that shit at all. It was just him and... um. Um, Burlap Sack, man. Oh, yeah. Um, Jonathan Major. Yeah, John, it was him and Jonathan Major. Even though I think Jonathan Major <laughs> did a good job in that movie. But I don't think we're supposed to give him his kudos. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anymore. So, yeah. I feel like Jonathan Majors is a good actor, but it's hard for me to separate him from any of his roles because he legit makes me think of, like, sharecropper vibes <laughs> in every film he does and not to mention a lot of his early shit started on the same premises every time i see michael b jordan i want a big ass bowl of porridge that's insane and i want to hold the spoon like this that sounds poor yeah that's crazy every time i see michael b jordan i want to throw my tv out the window <laughs> you a hater bro hey man I pulled up. Uh, it took me a minute. I pulled up Michael Buffer. I found him on Cameo. That nigga, that nigga, a pretty ticket, bro. 
three seventy five for a birthday shout out. Just for That's him to say crazy. happy birthday. That's crazy. Amen. Three yeah, if they're uh, three seventy five across the board. You ask him a question, uh receive a pep talk, you get love advice. This is Michael Buffer. Let me see what they got uh, an example. Oh, he got some good reviews. He got like one one star review. I gotta see the one star review. Really? Four hundred dollars? He makes four hundred million from his trademark and couldn't even say what he is known for. I even put in context, if you can't say it, then let people know. Not pay four hundred dollars for you to say what you want. Low blow, Michael. Rather, I think they said rather. No, I think they mean rather or not. Rather or not, got the video from my mom, honestly. Might not even share it. And now I'm embarrassed. Sad thing is, I really could have used that money. Someone please throw in a towel. I can't mm. take this anymore. Robbed. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, if you can't say ready to let's get ready to rumble, that's kind of crazy. Oh, he, oh, that's what they can what he yeah. can say could the trademark. Mm, okay, my nigga, why do you why are you sending Michael Buffer videos to your mama? I mean, she might have been a big fan. She might have got piped <coughs> by that nigga. She want to get she want to fuck Michael Buffer or something. She might have got piped by that nigga back in the day, and you know that's. Well, she got fucked by Michael Buffer back in the day. He should be able to get the shit for free. I mean, that nigga was probably slutting women left and right. Yeah. His mom might not have a good had good coochie, man. I don't know what's going on, bro. That's crazy. I mean, if you married, you ain't keeping up with your old coochie. Psh, nigga, please. You gonna you gonna you gonna keep up with a bit you hit six years ago at Omaha? I ain't gonna say you gotta uh, keep up with it. You gonna rem- you gonna remember? You ain't gonna remember her son reach out to you. You ain't gonna remember that shit, nigga. You- hey, she was the one in the <laughs> pink dress in the barn. Nigga, in a barn. <laughs> Why the fuck we just fucking a woman in a barn, bro? Hey, man. Sometimes you know, it be like that. You don't remember my mom? She was in Vegas after the Tyson fight. I mean, I would never talk about my mother getting piped. Whoa, nigga that. you got you gonna ask like, why the fuck would you want a shout out for Michael Buffer? You don't ask some questions. You like you, I know you I love like, boxing. Like I never seen you watch boxing ever. <laughs> she probably does. She probably does, which would make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what his brother charged, bro. So Michael <laughs> Buffer charged three hundred. I mean, no, he charged four hundred. Three seventy five, right? Nah, bro said four hundred. So I'm assuming that shit got. 40. Well, he was rounding up, oh, but nah. it probably do got tax on it. Oh no, nah, them Buffer boys, them Buffer boys killing y'all, boy. Three seventy five. Yeah, same price. All right, play one of the videos. Let's see what he's talking about. Hi everyone. I am. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want this. I am live on Cameo, as your video wish is my command. Whether personal or for business, baby births, championship intros, birthdays, you name it, I film it. Big cheers. Hope to film for you soon. No. And now, on this very special... Nah, that, that shit ain't worth 400 Fuck no, that shit <coughs> booty cheeks, nigga. If I'm paying $400, you better be in the ring, nigga. I do a chart. You better be in... He better be in the ring. It's crazy. Bruh, this nigga doing this shit before his morning jog. <laughs> nigga doing that shit on his way out to get groceries. Hold on, let's see what the birthday one like. And now... On this very special day, October 9th, a very special man was born. As this is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time! Oh, no, it's not fire, bro. At all. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is. The mic is enhanced they have sound boards that can mix and make it sound good as it echoes throughout a stadium mm. you yelling into your phone in your living room don't sound good yeah that shit don't it like that nigga just got him in a, it, it, at least if you gonna do my cameo do it to where 
I feel important. Bro, First of you all, you better I, be in the I, mic, I, I just, suited up. <laughs> that's true. That's mic cool. in hand. If you look at the video, that nigga got the same fit on in all the videos. It like he just had a list, and he was like, "All right, uh, Patrick yep. just did his video. All right, Fred." <laughs> All Ain't right. nothing special. I'm gonna write a whole list of shit you gotta say. <laughs> I need you to rap vanilla right. ice, 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 baby, because you white. All right, I just put on. I put Joe Butter in. <laughs> and nigga, why does a, why is officially ice on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Ice. Yeah, Ice. I know your ass listening, so whatever. <laughs> uh, Melissa Ford. Hold on, her shit's 65. Let's see what she talking about. That ain't bad, bro, for Melissa Ford, bro. Let's, let's see what she is. Nah, she got to get, get a little more sexy for this. I mean, she be, she be letting hey, the hair do Hey, what's up, whatever. everybody? It's your girl, Melissa Ford, and I am so oh, excited to be on Cameo. Now, anytime you guys need a birthday shout-out for me, or maybe you want some advice, whatever the case is, no request is too big or too small. Hit me up. I am so excited to be able to start communicating with you all on here. Hold up. Don't say no request too big or too small because I'm a nasty nigga. Man. And I'm going to ask you to show one of them titties. <laughs> I was going to say both of them titties. Yeah. They got <laughs> nah, I'm not greedy. Just show one titty. Nah, just hold it. You ain't even got it. And it could be lazy. Just hold the shirt up a Each little bit. Each one is unique, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't say, don't say too Don't say no request too much. Hi, Chloe. It's your... Hold up. Nah, this, nah. She in the car, bro. Get out the car. I ain't going to call her I'm out a, her nah, nah, just being real. Just being real. Melissa. If I had to pay for your um, birthday shout out, yeah, your cameo, cameo right? Yeah. I do at least want to see you full, like, and this ain't even on no crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you full body, beautiful, head to toe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I want to see you looking good, shouting me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you just clapping your hands and saying, hey, happy birthday. You know what I mean? It's Melissa Ford. Uh, they told me to tell you, you're, you're, you're 36. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. I need to see you looking good. But nah, this again, little... you looking like you about to go pull up to Joe Budden podcast and shit. <coughs> yeah, this is like some, a nigga invited her to dinner. Mm -hmm. She got to the dinner and said, oh, I got a cameo to do. And right. do in the morning. And she just put that phone up. Yeah. Melissa Ford from the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah. Your mom Kiana hit me up and told. And don't don't mention Joe Budden podcast at all. Don't mention at his all. podcast. I know this Melissa Ford <laughs> from the videos you used to watch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the I'm from the Danger video. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Just, yeah, I know you from that. I don't know if I'm on a Joe Budden podcast. I've never seen you on a Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch the Joe Budden podcast, lady. So yeah. You guys are melodies, so I wanted to say thank you for that. Um, and she also told me that you are going to graduate with a BA in neuroscience. That is, she, she ain't even sure. You got to know what my degree is in, man. Hey, hold on, hold you got to be talking to me, Melissa. Like, <laughs> look at this, you laid up in hey, the bed. Uh, thank you so much for your request. Um, and I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Yeah, nah. These $65, though. Give me more. $65. Ain't yeah, really nah. She need to up her price and do it right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Charge that three seventy five. Hit a spin for me real quick. You know what I'm saying? This nigga officially ice shit 40. All right, bro. This ice, bro. Why are you in a park, nigga? <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? It's officially ice from the Joe. button podcast man i'm over here on cameo with you i'm excited to get this going I, i've been seeing a lot of fire ideas you know people who all type of custom shout outs custom videos i'm down for it all let's have some fun over here let me know what you want to do Holla. lewis what's going on brother happy birthday it's your boy officially ice from your favorite podcast the jbp
the JVP. Where would you be without the JVP? Oh, that's green. Go ahead, bro. Can you can you hit the green nigga way? Green and nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro, that was... <laughs> what was that? Green ass song, nigga. Bro? That's crazy. Yeah. That nigga hit the Jigaboo music. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it, it's not really much this nigga can do, bro. Just like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what they know him from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Me and you might need to put, do a cameo. My shit would be $10. shit. <laughs> My first thing I'm gonna say, as soon as you buy that shit, I'm gonna be like, bro, why the fuck are you wasted your money? I'm like, bro, you could have bought that's two. funny as fuck. I'm gonna be like, you could have brought you two five dollar meals from McDonald's, bro. You could have put that in a big a piggy bank and bought some coochie. <laughs> you could have invested that shit in the, on a Doge coin. I don't even think Doge coin's still around. I think it is, bro. Elon's still talking about that shit. Elon got CT. That nigga Elon don't remember what the fuck he talking about. I don't know if you seen that shit. Elon added a bold print to the tweets. I ain't see that. Yeah, he had a bold print, and then he told me something. I'm taking it off because it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you just doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you just added it on, and he gonna hop on. He gonna hop on Twitter to, to last night. Tell me something. Hey y'all! <laughs> tomorrow morning, the bold print will be gone. It's hurting my eyes. So like, That's right, funny as fuck, bro. <coughs> That's right, hilarious. Man. That's how you know a nigga got too much money, bro. Oh, right, bro, fuck you, bro. You just doing too shit. Too much dude. money and too much control. Shit. <laughs> oh, uh, he need to hop on one day and say, "All right, y'all, it's too many titties on here. Let's tone down the titties a little bit." Yeah. Every post I'm seeing, I'm seeing a woman just flash her titties. And yeah, then you it's, look at, too, it's just too much uh, of, of all that sex work shit going on, period. Yeah, you just see a tweet. It just be like a woman. She flash her titties in the caption and be like, who is this? You would never guess who this is. Then you look at her, the tweet and it'll be a girl. She all be like, that's me. Yeah. Check out my free OnlyFans yep. right now. Yep. Uh, shit, and it's under viral tweets like that. It's like, damn. Yeah, they be buying. That should be ads too, man. Hey, if y'all want to see titties, man, go ahead and hop on Twitter, man. If y'all want to see some titties, if y'all deprived of titties, if y'all like breath from snowfall, where the titties at? Where the titties and the bitches at? If you wake up like that every day, just hop on Twitter, Bruh, and you'll see enough titties. That was a hilarious, a hilarious part in the show. <laughs> hey, man, that nigga was so mad. <coughs> Bro, you see, he said, what he say? He said they were going on porn set. He didn't say he was a yeah. gay porn set. That nigga was like, hey, man, my dad shoots everything. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, but nigga, invite me on the day of some bitches on this. Yeah, set. for it, That's insane, dog. You ever watch Sons of Anarchy? Sons of Man, like, I've been off and on with it. I never finished it, though. It's tough. It's a tough finish after some seasons are pretty bad. Yeah. But it's, it's an overall good show. I just brought that up because I remember they had that one scene where the little bro was one of the people that they was getting like the drugs from was working on a porn set. And bro, they was like showing all right, full on fucking on FX. I was like, hey. I was like bro, I don't think you could show this on hey, FX. FX bro. don't give a damn. FX don't give a damn, bro. bro. They had the woman getting a back shot on there, bro. FX actually got the best TV shows like consecutive. Yeah. FX. Snowfall was great uh, until the end, really. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, like you said, I, I, just from general consensus, overall good show. And from what I've seen of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, How far along did you get into it, Sons of Anarchy? Uh, so I think I've watched up to like the third season, but I didn't really retain what was going on throughout. So I had to start back from season one type shit. Did you get to the part when they were beefing with the the biker gang was beefing with the black guys? I ain't gonna say their names. Nah, nah, I ain't get to that. Oh, part. Okay, all right. Yeah, man, that's. <laughs> and if I did, I don't remember it at all, bro. That's yeah, that and right, it's so much fucked up shit happening on Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, they was right. They were doing some wild shit on there. <laughs> yeah, man. If you get a chance, yeah, just rewatch that shit. I think it's like maybe five. Let me see how many seasons Sons of Anarchy is. 
I'll sit through it. You know, I, you know, I'm good for watching a, a, a show. But FX, uh, the old man, fire, fire, amazing show. Seven seasons. I watched seven seasons of that shit. You, did you get into the Mayans? No, I never watched the Mayans. I heard it was good. I heard yeah. it was okay, but I think they canceled it, didn't they? I think they did. Um, I've been wanting to check it out though. Mayans MC. Bro, they did five seasons of the show. Man, what Shit, the it fuck? might still be going. No, nah, I saw oh, it. over, yeah. <coughs> Bruh, where the fuck was I at? They did five whole seasons of the show. Yeah, that one I knew they had a good run of. Damn, I thought I was thinking maybe they did like two or three seasons. For real, it's actually dope to see that they was able to do a spinoff that lasted five seasons from Sons of Anarchy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that wasn't even like a big like part of the show. The, the right, Miami. right. I'm trying to think of what's the name of that show? It was an FX show where it's like about surgery. Um, and it called like the Nick or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. They got another one though. So I said the old man. If y'all ain't seen that one, tap in. Uh, man, tap about, into you're talking about Discord. FX. You talking about FX shows, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um. Then they got um. Damn, it's this uh shit with this Australian dude. Um, Mister In Between, another remember. great one. You ever watch The Strain? The who? The Strain. Nah, I that's the show about one. the uh the vampires and shit like that. Oh damn! That nah, started. Be, that's, I fuck with that. That started off good. It got kind of bad towards the end. Okay. Um, that's how True Blood was. True Blood started off really good, and then like once they started talking about fairies and all that shit. I nah, was like, The Strain right. was like full on like action. Oh damn! Yeah, this okay. is this is stream right here. Oh, I did see it advertised, but yeah, this is right here. They were like, I don't know, I don't think they were vampire. They were like night walkers or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They had like sitting like parasites and shit. Yeah, yeah. I think I watched. I might have watched the whole season. I mean, the whole series. I have to tap into it. Was it good? It was the first two seasons was good. Now the first season was amazing. Yeah. That last episode was so fucking bad. Yeah. Here go the monster right here. Look at that nigga. The nigga like a fucking puppet. Yeah, he looks insane. More <laughs> like a fucked up clown. Yeah, they had uh and then like the second two seasons, I mean it's the second and third season was cool, then it got like it was like it was, I, I, I at towards the end I was like, all right, I'm watching this like as a chore at this point. <laughs> it's like I got it. I know for a fact this like the last season and I need to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what show is that, bro? It's called The Nick or some shit like that. I put it in pause, but I, it ain't nothing coming in. Yeah, that's it right here, the Nick. Now, nah, what's that about? Uh, motherfuckers doing surgery and shit. Uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna watch no shit like that. Oh, that was on Cinemax, okay. Hell no, nah, they <laughs> nigga brain, bro. Fuck no. Yeah. Um, only movie I watched like Don't that. Don't take was, my um, brain. <laughs> what's that shit with most death? Um, a show with most death. It's a movie. Uh, he was a uh, he was a surgeon, the first black surgeon to do heart surgery. Well, you know I ain't watched that shit. You green, but um, yeah, they did Atlanta FX shows. Atlanta. Uh, <coughs> I want to watch that Shogun <coughs> shit, but I don't never have the time to sit down and read through. Oh, subtitles. I was also thinking about Nip Tuck back in the day. You watch Nip Tuck? I didn't. That was too grown for you. Man, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you watched Nip Tuck back in the day. I think they that was the OG show. They show tw titties. It came out uh, 2003 when niggas was still in high school yeah, or yeah, entering high freak school. Move. Boy, you ain't watch Nip Tuck, bro. Nah, I ain't watch Nip Tuck. Real niggas watch Nip Tuck, bro. Wasn't oh, that like about surgeries and shit? Yeah, like yeah. plastic surgery yeah, or some yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ran like a plastic surgery. Yeah, nah. I ain't in the fake city, so. <laughs> now did you watch this right here, bro? Man, this white girl I, I worked with years back. Uh, she had got her titties done, and as soon as she got them done, she came in and she was like, "Hey, you want to see my titties?" I was like, "Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say uh? Because it was odd. I didn't know if I was being set up. <laughs> but then I thought about it. I was like, What hey, you thought was going to happen? Soon as you saw the TV. I got you. Got you. Hey, like, this nigga a freak. I am. <laughs> I, oh, you wouldn't be able to shame me. I was like, yeah, shit, nigga. I was I like say, to, yeah, I was going to admit. I was going to I better be like on the Chappelle show when he got caught in that locker room looking at that girl titties. He was <laughs> like, I'm just a nigga that love titties. <laughs> well, she 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 just hung the bitches out. She was like, yeah, they used to kind of do like this and now. But what I hate about fake titties is they got that nasty ass line underneath. I can't yeah. fuck with that line. That, yeah, that. I knew a girl. She got the. Uh, I ain't never heard of that shit. It's called like the Forever Bra, where you just hold them up forever, where you don't need a bra. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know the name. Yeah, when girls get fake titties, and I understand they pay their money, like they don't stop showing the motherfuckers. Yeah, they 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 got them out. Yeah, they, they like, got them out. You want to touch them? All right, I done touched them about right, twenty times. Right, like, All right, right, bro, leave me alone at this point. <laughs> You're harassing me. I done touched them about twenty times today. Uh, they're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, hey man, nah, that's gonna sound crazy. I ain't gonna say it. I mean, I felt some good fake titties before, but again, I'm just not into them. Like that, that line turns me off. <laughs> It's like, man, you got cut up. Like that shit grossed me out. I was trying to think it of ain't a, gross, I was trying to think of a male surgery if a nigga got they nigga keep showing off. Imagine you just got your dick done. You like ah, you pull your pants. That's insane, nigga. <laughs> that would be crazy. That's harassment. That's that's like, that's yeah, that that you should see, be locked up. See, that's see double standard. A woman could just show her titties all day, like Yeah, yay, but if you titties. pulling out your meat, I'm calling police. <laughs> I, not to a nigga, I'm talking about titties. I'm just saying I hear you pulling it out on somebody I know. I'm like, hey man, y'all go arrest that nigga. He wildly. <laughs> that's a nigga's a nasty nigga. As I'm saying, them double standard, you can't just now if I get a knee BL. A I'm dunk. If I get a knee BL, I'm dunk. Anytime somebody in that doorway, they getting dunked on. Yeah, the crazy thing though about like getting your shins broken and extended type shit, right? Now you got these long ass shins and these same little ass thighs. <coughs> oh yeah, definitely. That and, shit crazy. And your torso don't, like, yeah, torso don't add up to it. None of it. So it's like. Niggas be walking around funny and shit too. Like, yeah, I mean, nah. nigga, you see with an EBL. You talking like nah, you nah, seen nah. several niggas with EBL. Nah, I seen like the little documentaries and shit. That shit be. Oh, like, I've seen you know, like the videos with nigga be like, he was like, yeah, that's the, the recovery six months. I'm like, bro, where the fuck do you work at? Where you for first of all, what where do you, you work do? at? Where yeah. you got a you was able to afford the EBL? Yeah. And where do you work at where you can recover for six months? Yeah. Fucking find them. Nigga, are they hiring? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want an EBL. I just want to know where you work at. <laughs> so they got some good benefits and pay. Straight up. Jesus Christ. Nigga had that an EBL. He was like, yeah, it takes six months. So I was like, all right, bro. And then you can't do shit. Like, you literally can't run and shit like that. Like, it's a lot of shit that fuck up. But like, that's fucked up about it. So, yeah. I would never. <sighs> hey, man. I ain't I ain't endorsing it, but if a nigga got a knee BL, that's a perfect time to rob him, and they can't run. Yeah. He be like, bro, where you where you been at, bro? He be like, bro, I just got the knee BL. Like, don't make me tap them legs. What? Uh, Calm down, man. <laughs> you put the gun on him, like you got that knee BL. Hey, 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 hey bro, gonna have me that wild bitch right, 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 <laughs> right in the middle of them shins. Tink, tink, tink. Oh, you ain't even got to use a gun, bro. Just grab <laughs> one of the little braces and twist that motherfucker like. That's hey. it. Hey, bro, don't make me keep twisting, bro. Go ahead, go ahead and hand that wallet over in them keys. Uh-huh. Damn, you bro. stand like you finna kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we don't endorse robbing niggas with knee BLs, man. Nah, not at all. We just tell you how to do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. That's crazy, man. Let's go ahead and get in the voicemail. The send in voicemails. Hit us up. 424-260-RAOP. 424-260-RAOP. Like I said, let's go ahead and get into the episode. <laughs> yeah, 43 minutes in. Yo, man, it's your boy DJ Willow. Long time listener, nighttime caller. 
uh, LE fan, I need to call in a little more, so I'm working on that. Hey, um, oh, I was just joking. listening to the last episode, though, and y'all <laughs> no, talking about, you. like, the, the Canes and the Florida State, Florida rivalry. Uh, first off, Joe, I need you to get your shit together with these uh, sports teams, man. First, you go from the Titans to the Jags. <laughs> now you're trying to go from Florida to the Canes. Bro, you can keep that shit over there, for real. <laughs> go in the state, stay over there with that chunk, that bullshit over there. You know what I'm saying? Man. Mind you, we were y'all last this year. But, um... Yeah, just to give y'all a little back uh, history on the, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the rivalries and shit. One, one, yeah. one uh, 27, uh, I think, it, what is it, 29 out of 27, uh, 29, I, the, don't use this, don't use this, I'm going to start over, don't use this. Oh, <laughs> oh man, my my bad, Willa, bro, I paid, I played the fucked up one. We're going to act like that didn't happen. <laughs> The, the city <laughs> voicemail hit us up four two four two six zero R A O P. Boy, that be long as a thong. Damn, that be that be long as well. Okay, well, go ahead and play it, man. Hey, bro, he right though. He probably gonna repeat it what he said. <laughs> he probably gonna do what I told you. What I told you about to say. What I told you about them two teams, nigga. <laughs> Hey, you thought man. I was hating, bro. Nah, you, you called me a madman. Nah, nah. I ain't, <coughs> I, I ain't mad at a nigga telling me whatever, but I grew up liking the Titans. It ain't like I'm rooting for these niggas. Well, I'll play the voice, man. You don't never hear me rooting Yo, for the Titans. Yo, it's DJ Willow, man. Long time listener, the nice time caller. Uh, you know, ever trying to do better on, you know what I'm saying, get some calls in. Uh, but yeah, I was just calling to touch on, like, y'all was talking about the, the rivalry, the Florida, the Florida rivalry, you know what I'm saying, with the college teams or whatever, FSU, Miami, Florida. Uh, first off, Joe, uh, you need to get your shit together with these with these with these sports teams, bro. Because you can't decide what you want to do. First, you're a Titans fan, then you're a Jags fan. Now you're a, you're a Gators fan. Now you're trying to hop on the bandwagon with the Canes, nah, bro. You keep that shit over there, bro. We you don't need scoring that. twice. But just to give y'all a little history, and then also y'all can go watch the U part too, and it'll, it'll give you a lot of this information. It's kind of funny because I just want to finish watching this shit today. But um, for one, we got two more wins over both of y'all teams overall. Mm. Overall. 49 and 27 versus the Gators, and I think it's like 36 and uh, 34, 37 and 35 versus, <laughs> versus Florida State. Five championships, which should have been six, a possible seven. Because, I mean, we all know about the Ohio State game with the bullshit ass uh, pass interference call. And then we got shitted over Florida State. Oh, yeah. It was one where they beat Florida State, and that, that should have, they should have had the national championship. I think it was one of the years. Um, uh, Ed Reed was on the team and all them, yeah, the good, the good guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clint Portis and all them niggas. Uh, you know that? You know that? Clint Portis, that nigga was on coke. I did not, but Clinton Portis was one of my favorite running backs. Clint, that yeah, nigga Clint was, Portis was fire, bro. That nigga was crazy. Yeah, bro. That nigga did his um, he did his acceptance um to to the U by accident. A nigga said I looked like him one time. I almost slapped that nigga. I don't look like no damn. Dude. Yeah, you don't look like Clint Portis. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You do look like Des Bryant, though. Man, no the fuck I don't. <laughs> Niggas just be saying I look like anybody, bro. bro. You that do nigga, look like uh, you do. I sent that shit in the group chat the other day uh, talking about uh, Joe is this you, and it was some random ass nigga. Oh, that nigga didn't look like you, you at t- all. That nigga looked like um big hit. Yeah, he that did nigga like with a beard. Hit. Nah, bro, you look like Dez Bryant, bro. No, I don't, nigga. Pull up a picture of Dez Bryant. Hold on, let's finish yeah. uh, with a little voicemail yeah. real quick. But yeah, you look like Dez uh, Bryant, nigga. When over, uh, Florida State played Oklahoma, that bullshit ass VCS computer shit put Florida State over us after we had done already beat Florida State that year. Yeah, so, I'll give y'all that. I mean, we could add a potential seven championships. I ain't making no excuses, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to give y'all a little history of what what could have been or what should have been, right? And I want to let you know that I appreciate your hate, though, man. That's the way it should be. Because I don't never want to see Florida State do good. Unless it benefits yeah. the game, Florida State, hey, I Florida State could lose every game like they've been doing, like they're doing. And I can't wait to see y'all boys this year. But, yeah, go out to you part two, man. That shit going to give you a little breakdown. If it wasn't for all them sanctions, Florida State wouldn't have that championship, bro. Y'all wouldn't have got all the players that y'all got because some of the players would have came to the U. So, but as always, man, I love y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. Keep grinding, bro. Hardest working podcast in the game. Love y'all, boys. Love you too, brother. Hey, I, hey, I hate the you so much. I'm not watching none of y'all shit. I ain't watching the 30 for 30. I don't care if the whole timeline was watching. I'm not watching that. And I ain't watched that Gators, whatever that shit was. Yeah. Uh, the Gators, I'll, man, they just be pissing me off. Cause I will watch that Aaron. I'm going to watch that Aaron Hernandez shit because he died then. You talking about the uh, Hulu shit? Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. he got an FX show. I'm going to watch that. I'm going to clap yeah. when he die. Cause he, I mean, the FX Seeing, it, seeing the Gator die. 
FX got a deal with Hulu now, so I just revert to it. Oh yeah, you're right. It is on. It is on Hulu. But um, man, they like hyper focusing on him being gay, ain't it? Well, bro, I look like bro with being gay, bro. I mean, he, I'm just saying. I think that it was a a lot of other shit going on in this story that might have like. Uh, so I didn't watch the whole. I watched a couple clips. They trying to tie. They ain't like making it. Up. They ain't pressing the issue that he was gay. They was like they letting him know he was gay, and they letting him know that his father was uh, was homophobic, and they trying to say that adds to nigga. Him being I'm, crazy. I'm I'm watching the shit actively. Like oh, his oh, father okay. died in like the second episode. But I did see that part where his father was like on some Archie Bunker shit. I mean, his father was definitely a tough nigga on them. Like, he was hard as hell. He was not, like, you know, <clears throat> outside, like, the way that they're portraying him, he was not a good father, like an ideal father, right? They uh-huh. had love for him because he wasn't, the, the fear, you know, that type shit, right? Uh-huh. But, um, the, 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 like, every few, 15 minutes every episode is like him being caught in some kind of I think what they're trying to say right now is that that was a part of his anger him not being able to truly identify himself you know what I'm saying all right let me ask you a question uh-huh. and then of course there's nothing wrong with him being gay all right nothing at all why is they why is that like even in the show for real because it was never really confirmed that he was gay for real. His only brother, time, the only time they ever brought up he was gay was like not even that first Netflix doc. They randomly did a second one for whatever reason, and like one person said he was gay. Well, his brother allegedly came out and said that. Uh, well, I mean, he did come out and say it, not allegedly, but yeah. I'm saying allegedly. Hit, um, Aaron told his brother that. He was gay and that he had been for, you know, a long time or whatever. And it was hard for him to keep the secret type shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. But, um, I, like I say, I think that in this storyline, because now it's being talked about a lot more with the, the, the show coming out. And then last year, uh, the brother got caught up in a situation to where... He was threatening to kill niggas at um, UConn. <coughs> oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. So. Fuck all that. You don't look like this nigga right here? No, nigga. Not at all. You don't look like bro, bro. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can't that's, even. That's funny as fuck. The only reason I'm laughing is because, bro, we got the same, like, beard type shit. Like right, the bro. the say like it is cut in Stop it, way. bro. You look like Des Bryant, man. It ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> no, with the that, fuck bro. I don't. <laughs> That's hilarious. You, you ever heard that before? You look like him? Nah, not Des Bryant. I ain't hear that. You never heard nobody say you look like Des Bryant. Bro. Maybe a few times. Nigga be saying I look like everybody. I know people say you like Lloyd. I don't really yeah, see that. Yeah, I don't see that at all. That nigga Lloyd. I know they said it on um, what's that show? Wild and Out. They say he like the Cleveland Indians logo, and he did. <laughs> nah, bro, you look like. Hey, man, leave in the comments if this nigga Joe look like Des Bryant, man. That's funny as fuck. All right, now nah, that don't look nah. nah. You just look like okay. Apparently, you just look like Des Bryant on the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look, you don't look like hilarious. Des Bryant on the Ravens. That's hilarious, nigga. <laughs> you don't look like that nigga on one team, bro. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Apparently, it's not the same nigga, man. Hell no. Nah. Hey, man, shout out to uh, Willa once again yeah, with that voice, man. Show. All right, let's get, get some of these listening questions in. The sending listening questions, hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at raopodcast.com. Man, you want to read this, man? Yeah, I got you. This one, this one, this a, this a this a follow up one. Yeah. Um, <coughs> all right, so Zadeko sent in uh, again from last week, and this is what he had to say. 
This is the guy who emailed you guys last week about my dating situation. I'm sending this from a fake email address, LOL. I'm from Philly, have a good job, and make money for someone my age, make good money for someone my age. I've always been reserved, but around my friends, I'm much more outgoing and sociable. I don't really drink or smoke either, so I'm kind of a square, but not in the black girls don't like me. I'm going to go watch anime and listen to Fresh and Fit way. I also have decent fashion sense. All my dates three and four years have been from dating apps. Just recently, I took a girl out on two dates and got ghosted. I don't know if she saw me as a lick, but I enjoyed the time we spent together. So I'm not mad about the money I spent. What I'm frustrated about is the ghosting and constant rejection. I think I just got to get out more and meet people in more genuine ways. If you need more context, just ask. Once again, big fan of the pod. So, again, we're going to start out by shouting, shouting out uh, the Deco. Appreciate yeah, you yeah. sending in the follow-up. Um, I will say this. As a nigga that you know, used to be on them apps, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, for one, they definitely got their advantages, you know what I mean? But... To make it make it a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, for sure, sure. And it's all in how you present yourself on the app to bring you more success in that regard. It's definitely women you'll meet on there that's, you know, down to fuck same night, down to go out on dates consistently, down to build, but don't want relationships. You're going to meet all kinds of people, right? Yeah. But it's going to be very hard, I will say, to find someone that, you might want to date consistently on a dating app because they're on a dating app, nigga. They're they're shopping around. They're talking to multiple people. Yeah. So in that regard, you know, if you want consistency, do things that make you stand out. Do things that you know what I mean, like are engaging to where it sparks an interest enough. I will say this: the dating app's cool, but if you want success, going out in more genuine situations and shooting your shot, you'll always do better off. Oh, yeah, Especially definitely. Especially if you want consistency. Definitely. So, hold up real quick. So, he said that he doesn't drink or smoke. So, he, of course, he can. It's it's events that you can go to that don't make you drink or smoke, but like. You can go to the bar and get a mocktail. You can go to the bar and get, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. That can get a little slippery also because you don't want to be in that bitch getting a mocktail and then you got your girl drinking and she getting s- slammed. <laughs> you still sober. Hey, man. That, that's real. That Diddy vibes right there. Yeah, that's real. You got to be careful with that. You you can do it, but you got to like... You got to be in a good place with yeah, your you girl. You got to already position. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you got to already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't yeah. first night her like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if y'all yeah. in a good place and you know what I'm saying, she know you don't drink mm-hmm. and she's still trying to throw that coochie on you, man, shit, King Griffey, I'm <laughs> knocking it out the park. Oh, yeah, definitely. But don't be, like, buying, like, her a bunch of drinks and you just, like, you yeah, got nah, the that's creeper. Yeah, that's yeah, creeper. That's, yeah, that's, that's creeper vibes right there, man. You don't want to be doing that, man. You tell her, you know, pull your poison <coughs> type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... I feel like, to me, I feel like... Him being on a date now is not, not that bad. The girl that said you was a lick, now that made me wonder. I don't want you to have to send in another one giving us a full on paragraph with even more detail. I don't think she said he was a lick. I think uh, he was saying she might have looked at him as a lick. So that makes me think. So that makes me wonder, like, what does he got on his dating profile? Does he say he makes some good money? Are you, like, real flashy in your dating profile? That's the only way she would think you was a lick. So if look, you flashy on there, if you the not thing. flashy on there, I don't think she would make you think you. Would <laughs> Yo, I used to have a meme that if I could, I would send to you. Uh, she, I'd have to get the email from Amp, but uh, we'll send it to you if I find it, nigga. That shit is undeniable, bro. Hundred percent, it works. One hundred percent, it works. Is Will Smith running up to the chick from Fresh Prince? Is Will Smith running up to the chick at the pool, um, laid out, mm. and he like run up and lay next to a type shit? 
to uh, start talking to her. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, you send that and don't say nothing else. When you match, you send that, don't say nothing else. Hmm. Conversation starts from there. You know what I'm saying? Yo, look, I don't really do this, you know, uh, text and shit like that too often. You know what I mean? You get a few texts in, and then it's like I, I like to get out of get off the app type shit. I like to be more in in person, so you can see personality. And boom, you know what I'm saying? Um, for a nigga that doesn't drink or smoke, it's very hard for me to give you advice. I think Amp would better be, you know, be better suited in that regard. Oh well, cause... nigga, if you don't drink or smoke, bro, for me, it's just strictly like dating apps. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah. like it's hard or, to go places. Yeah. I could imagine, and I, it's definitely women out there though that 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 don't smoke, and I think you'll have a better <laughs> opportunity there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, going you, to you, a yeah, you have to just match with the women that don't smoke. Of course, yeah. you know on the day and after guy like whether they drink. Yeah, or telling smoke. a woman, you know what I'm saying, like if, expecting to find a woman that don't drink and smoke. Not to say they ain't out there by the plural, you know what I mean. But a lot of women drink wine. A lot of women, you know. Yeah, because that because that's I was bring. I think I brought that up last week. Cause I was like, if you don't really go out like that, I, I had think I brought that up as one of the scenarios. I was like, if you don't really go out like that. You don't want a woman that go out all, that, all the time because she don't want to, like, if I don't drink or smoke and then I meet you somewhere and you fucking drinking and smoking, it you want to you wanna do yeah. shit that involves drinking and smoking. Yeah. You don't want to go out to the bar all the time. Like, I don't want to do that. Unless you like watching a game or some shit like that. Yeah. Um... I don't know, man. I definitely wish you the best. I think that, uh, like I say, if you get out places, just shoot your shot. We'll go to Starbucks. Like, yo, when I was single, if I wanted it, you know what I'm saying? You got to shoot your shot anywhere. Yeah. You be in the middle of Lowe's, and it's like, yo, look, I don't even mean to disturb your peace, but I seen you roof, roof. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I had to come and introduce myself. Exactly. Meet about low. We're we'll gonna talk about the paint and shit like that. Whatever, Man, she, whatever. What you head doing. shopping for? Who got you in head shopping? <laughs> and why you doing it by yourself? What you got? Yeah, what you got going on? I can hang a TV, or I can come hang with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, your game gotta be quick. Yeah, it'd be funny when you. Go, I don't know if this ever happened to you. When you go to Lowe's and meet a girl that work at Lowe's and she try to hop down on you. Oh, not not they don't. I, I'm gonna be honest. They don't <coughs> try to hop down on me at Lowe's. They uh they be the older women when I go. Uh, you need to go to the. Uh, I go in the mornings. <laughs> you need to go to the one on uh on uh what you call it on Lim Turner, that oh, Home Depot yeah. Lim Turner. They got they got the ones in there. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. <coughs> yeah. On the north side, you liable to find a bad one anywhere you go. I'm gonna be real about that. Yeah, you might have a badass attitude. Also, that's very it, true. It, it that's here. more than likely. More, I don't want to say more Man. than likely. We happen here. These are some ones with some good attitudes. Shit. Some good heads on their shoulders. Yeah, yeah right. They can smell the south side on you, so that's what they mean to you. Boy, stop. They know I'm from the trenches. <laughs> Boy, man. Hey, um. Uh, yeah, like I said, get out more, shoot that shot everywhere you go. Dating apps, man, clean up your profile. Like I said, depending on what you have on your profile, like if you out there telling niggas your whole spiel, um, <laughs> that shit might not be uh, appealing to the women, depending on how you how you writing it out. You know what I'm what saying? What you mean, whole spiel? Like, oh, I do this, I do that. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, okay. That's how you shit, you know. Yeah, you also um, want to uh, leave stuff for them to uh, get to know you. Right. Because you don't want to put too much because they, some, hey, man, some people are judgmental. Keep that shit limited, man. Yo, yeah. my name is Zadeco. I, uh, I'm just, you know. Just say I'm an avid Random Max podcast listener. The draw's going to fly off. Hey. Hey. Whether for you or me, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but nah, time. just tell her. You know, I mean, just put on that bit. I'm a deco. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get out. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink or smoke, but I'm a hell of a vibe. Yeah, tell your situation. Like, you know what I mean. If you're an educated brother. Let them know, man. Women out here like educated brothers. They either like educated brothers or entrepreneurs. Yeah, uh, 28, no kids. You know what I mean. 
Three dates in four years, though? I don't yeah, think, no, I don't think bro that old. I think he said it was 25, I think. Uh, Let me see. I think I got the one from last week. I'm hoping those were, like, oh, he more said, consistent. He said mid-20s. So I'm yeah, mid-20s. We're just going to assume 25 or 24. Yeah. Um, <coughs> um, but I'm hoping those was consistent, you know, to some degree to be able to sustain you throughout them four years. But, um, man, hey. Shoot that shot, brother. Shoot yeah, that shoot shot. shot bro. He absolutely get the barking at him, bro. bro. Nigga, I seen a video. It was a nigga, bro. That nigga had no teeth in his mouth. Bro, he was you in that know. club. And uh, he had a cock eye. That nigga was in that shit getting them shots off, bro. Dang. He was going to every woman shooting the shot. I was get like, this mouth. is I was like, nigga, this is madness. But get I got you can't you can't do nothing but respect that shit. In the I would never do nothing like that. Hey man, that, that nigga, nigga was confidence was on ten. That nigga was tall, bro. You might have accidentally talked to your cousin, nigga. Slow that's, down. That's insane. <laughs> that's bro, he insane. was shooting. Bro, he was shooting at every woman in the club, bro. Hey man, that's all a I, numbers bro. game. All that, bro. You don't do it. that, but I mean, <laughs> it's a I'm, numbers game, nonetheless. I'm about to say, bro, you, yeah, man, you about to talk at one of your homies' old girls or something, one of your homies' cousins or something like that. Slow down, motherfucker. Hey man. Hey man, if you go out, just do at least two. Do a, shoot at least two or three shots. Yeah, a day. A day. Build that confidence Damn. up. A day. All right. Build that confidence up. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You got when you when you pull it through the drive through, you see a chick look. All right. You know what I'm saying? She ain't even gotta be fine. She all right. Yo, what's happening? My name is Zedeco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the practice right there. Oh yeah, you. I forgot. Yeah, you got to do that. Even if it was girls, you don't even really want. Just get that conversation going. Even yeah. though that that may fuck them up. Not like, even. You could be real with them. Like, hey, look, I ain't looking for nothing serious, but I'm here for good entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hell of a like I say, I'm a hell of a time. You know? I'm just trying to fuck. I got good personality. Shit. If nothing else, let me take you out. We enjoy a good night. And shit, we go from there. <laughs> if Shawty step out with you, she know what time it is. She know what she want. Exactly. You gotta pull a cyber truck. Most, I, I I feel like this. I feel like this. If you going out with somebody, <clears throat> in most situations, as an adult, like, excuse me, most women are open. To the idea of throwing that pussy. Yeah. It's just yours to lose. Yeah, you gotta fuck it up. You gotta talk yourself out of shit. Yeah. And 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 bro, go through the stages. Nigga done definitely talked myself out of <coughs> pussy before. And I done I done wiggled my way into some. Yeah. So, you know, shoot your shot. What's the next listening question, nigga? <coughs> nigga be doing this odd ass moment of silence and shit. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, last listening question. Get rid of that. Oh my. God. <laughs> nah, this one. This one was crazy. I'm not participating. In this. Man, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, yo, you can't wait. All right, this one from Talladega Knights, man. He said. Who's y'all first team all milk? And you put a glass of milk emoji. I didn't even know they had that. <laughs> he said that nigga mine. Put a tall glass of milk. <laughs> yeah, that's that cut. That glass filled, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one song you had? Uh, where you were like tall glass of Florida, sipping it with a Georgia peach, sitting somewhere on a California beach. Yeah, he got a tall glass of calcium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, he said, mines. This nigga did point guards and shit. But he did say all first team. Point guard, Hillary Duff. Shooting guard, Margaret Roby. Robbie. Robbie, oh, my fault. Small forward, Derrick Rose wife. <laughs> is it confirmed Derrick Rose wife is white? Let me see. Uh, <coughs> oh, she, 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 she nice now. Oh, she fine, but I wasn't yeah. sure if she was white. I thought she was like Hispanic or something like that. I mean, Alana, Alana, I think she might be of some Hispanic. 
This ain't but probably Hispanic. This lady not white. mixed. This lady, I believe, I believe. Wait, she wait, look is. at the t- look at the TV. Is that that can't be a full on white woman? Nah, she not full on white. I don't think. Yeah. Look at this picture right here. This is not a white woman, bro. Yeah. In every in every picture I see, I don't see a full on white woman. Yeah, this is a but white. This I is do a, think it's white in her family. Oh, she definitely got a white parent, but yeah, she definitely got a black parent. So I can't really say this is a white woman. Right, right, right. See. I do salute Derrick Rose because his 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 wife and his baby mama cool as fuck. That's dope. Hey man, look what money make a bitch do. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, I hit the wrong button anyway. Uh, hold on, you got Derrick Rose. What? <coughs> <coughs> My fault, y'all. Iggy Azalea, friend from the nanny. Yeah, friend from the nanny, we get hit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let me read some of the replies. She definitely on my list. K three, he got Hayden Penitary, BB Rexa, Olivia Benson. I don't know. I don't know none of these women. Uh, you don't know who Hayden Penitary is? Nah. She was from um, Heroes. Uh, what's that? The show back in the day, you remember that? This shit, you gonna CW? This woman? Yeah, Hayden Pinterry. Uh, she got some really nice lips. Nah, Hayden Pinterry fire. Uh, um, what's that, Olivia? Yeah, she do look, yeah, she, she, she. Yeah, Hayden Pinterry fine, bro, you tripping. I don't know who Olivia Benson is. Hold on, let's look at this white woman. Yeah, she is fine. Oh, the woman from Law and Order? <laughs> I ain't know that was her name. Nah, nah, nigga. That's funny as fuck. Nah, nigga, you tripping, bro. That's he <laughs> want, he wants some attention. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you tripping on that one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that, brother. All right, who we got? <laughs> the Alexis ex- Texas. Okay. I can fuck with that. Fuck with that. The Hadid sisters. Hadid sisters. Oh, the model chicks, the one that, uh, the chick that we can date. Bella Hadid. Also, I'm not really sure they're full white. They could be white. I think they might be like Middle Eastern, bro. This woman? Yeah, Bella Hadid. It's, it's, it's hit or miss with her. She definitely, that's her and her sister right there on the TV. I'm gonna have to pass, dog. You ain't rocking? No, nah, brother. All right, let's move on. That ain't my. That ain't my cup of. Uh, uh, that nigga said. That nigga said, "I like us in six. I don't know about that, bro. Y'all might be getting swept first round, bro. Yeah. Especially with Olivia Benson. Yeah, <laughs> old that lady. All right, Aaron got Cat Dennings. That's a good one. Cat Dennings. Uh, that's the two from Two Broke Girls. Okay, she got that. Uh, she got that. She got the uh, moon balloons. Yeah. <laughs> The other one had that ass. I no, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. We had that discussion. Yeah, they go cat dinner. Yeah, she had them. She, yeah, them, them big ass knockers. Them, them <laughs> sweater stretchers. Yeah. Yeah. Who else he got? He got Gianna Michaels, Mariska Harknite. Am I saying that right? I ain't familiar with her. Nigga, it, it, this look like, this, she look damn near like Olivia Benson. Oh, that's the that's the name of the show. I ain't catch on to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so these niggas picked the same woman. One nigga picking the damn TV alias and one nigga picking the real name. Yeah. Same two, 
Two aliases, same freaky niggas. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going with that, bro. Y'all, y'all, I ain't going with that, my hey, niggas. Bro. Keep your hands to yourself, though. Oh, my fault, bro. I yeah. ain't mean to touch you. Yeah. Get your ass beat, nigga. Fair fuck you, man. <laughs> What's the next one? How you pronounce this? Melina. Melana. They. Man, help me out, bro. I fell the F cat. I can't see that shit. <laughs> what that say? Melina. Vain Trump? Vain Trump? M- M- Milana Vain Trump. Luther Vandross. What? Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, this girl here. She look familiar. <coughs> Ain't that that lady from them commercials? No. I don't know who this is. Yeah, that's all. That's her. AT oh, from commercials. Lily. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. I think I want to hear Lily. Ain't fine. Oh, Ashley Graham is a good one. Let me see. I think Ashley Graham that thick ass one. That's who we got. I got at center. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no surprised ain't none of y'all put Lotto. Thick. Colado was. Black, you dunce. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> nah, Olivia. Nah, not Olivia. Why y'all niggas got me saying Olivia? Nah, Ashley Graham, bro. It's a thick one, bro. You need Timberland. Hit this, bro. You need Timberland boots, grip socks, and three honey packs. This is this is this a big one right here. All right, you are you gonna do your list? Um, I'm trying to compile it. I'm gonna tell you one, <clears throat> one I know for sure had like gotta get listed. Zoe uh, Deschanel. Who the fuck is that? Um, uh, you ever seen Yes Man? Yes Man. What's that? With uh Jim Carrey. Probably. Yeah, she was the chick that um. I, mean, I don't know who that is. Yeah. She um she was in that movie with him. New girl. Yeah. She was in New Girl. Yes, man. You remember when we used to fuck with Melissa McCartney heavy? Who? Melissa McCartney. You used to have a crush on her. Man, who the fuck is Melissa McCartney? You don't remember Melissa McCartney? You used to be bro, you used to, used to be fucked up by Melissa McCartney. McCarthy, nigga. Yeah, Melissa McCarthy. Boy, I wasn't fucked up by that <laughs> one, nigga. Y'all used to be fucked but, up by Melissa McCarthy. Hey, she could get hit. Nigga. All right, bro. Come on, man. What's going on, man? You telling me you're not hitting that right now? No, nigga. No, I'm not fucking Melissa McCarthy. I'm just saying. Nigga, it's crazy. I was joking, but this nigga's serious. I mean, that was she, you know. You know who our cousin is, right? Who? Jenny McCarthy. Who is that? Yo, bro, who is that? Jenny. You don't remember Jenny McCarthy back in the day? Let's see. What's she from? She's been on TV and shit. Two and a half men. Scream. Scary movie. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't think I ain't never heard of Jenny McCarthy, bro. What's another white girl out here? All right, bro. This nigga taking too long. I got my list ready already. Good. I All mean, right. nigga, you had time to prepare. <coughs> Whoa, nigga, you get the notes too. What's the chick from Transformers? Oh, you talking about uh, Megan Fox? Uh, yeah, Megan Fox. She could get hit. That's a good one. So who you, who you got two? Who you got who? Zoe Deschanel, Megan Fox, them two. Okay. Um, and then I I continue to build my list up. All right. So uh, if you watching this, Dr. Umar, close your ears and eyes. Matter of fact, <laughs> cut this shit off. Cause this this for the this for the milkman right here. I'm not a milkman, but I'm a, I'm a, the milkman gonna love this one right. Here. <laughs> you feel like you got a championship? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a championship roster. I think I could take us to the. The uh, if this was uh, NCAA, I think we get to go to at least the uh, the elite eight. All right, point guard, I got Jada Stevens. Ooh, that's a great one. That's a great one. Shooting guard, I got Hayden Penitentiary. Hayden Penitentiary. Yeah, that's I one I. Just, that's the one I just brought up. You 
See, the nigga got CTE. He okay, 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 okay. Up. I remember, I remember, I remember. But she, yeah, yeah. Well, hold up. Pull your Googles out. I already know you ain't gonna know who this is. Okay, hold on. I got Mandy Rose. She used to be a wrestler. Oh, I, I remember Mandy Rose. Yeah, I got Mandy Rose. That's small forward. Okay, okay. Power forward. Another wrestler. I got Trish. That's a great, that's a great addition. Mandy Rose? Yeah, that's a great addition. <laughs> I fucked the city up with these, with this milk. Okay. Uh, Power forward. Trish Stratus. Uh, let me re- I remember Trish Stratus. I'm trying to, I got to see her again. <clears throat> Come on, bro. Trish Stratus. Cold. Okay. That might be the yeah, that might yeah, be the yeah. best addition to the team. Yeah. She had them big ass titties. Them Oakley would love this list. <laughs> <laughs> Moon balloons. Yeah, boy. All right, bro. And it look like she got some decent hips on her, like little ass back there. Now this one, I could have went. I don't know. I can't see no ass in none of these. She got a nice body, bro. She ain't really got no ass, bro. At the end of the day, yeah, bro, she it's, ain't a, got no ass. it's a white woman, yeah. man. She don't have but so much ass. Yeah. All right, bro. So now, now this one right here, this a this a, as the uh, West Coast niggas say, this a wobbler. Okay. Now, I, no, this no, I ain't pull it up yet. Oh, okay. Now I don't know if you ever watched this show. This was one of my favorite shows on Comedy Central back in the day. It was called Broad City. Oh yeah, 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 it's a girl on there called Alana Glazer. Uh-huh. She ain't the best looking, but I used to be attracted as fuck to her though. I yeah. fuck that white woman. I put that white woman through the mattress, bro. I pull her right. I down. think everybody would. She got a she got she got a quirky look, bro. She, it's something about her. It's just something it's about something her, bro. About her. I, it, yeah, it's something, bro. Like she got know, a little something back there, bro. I put I put a line through the mattress, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna tear that thing up. <laughs> yeah, she got a husband, bro. I don't like, bro. I don't know who this is, but I don't like him, bro. I don't All know, right. bro. It was just something about she just. I like funny women, also, bro. I fuck I, I fuck a lot of, bro. So at center, I'm gonna put Mary Steenbergen. Um, who? That's the chick, the mother from Step Brothers. Um, put a put a Google machine up. You gotta you gotta look at her from Step Brothers, bro. Cause like the Mary Google, Steen 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 uh, Steen Bergen. Oh okay. The Googles ain't doing her justice. <coughs> yeah, bro. She when she in, be in uh, the movies, she playing in a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, she be playing a lot. Yeah, All right, it's not um, a bad one. Who else would I put on my list? I feel like it's some more white women. There. Where do you go with Mary Steenburgen from? Bro, she always been on my list. Damn. If I had to go porn, I'm going to go with an eater that can ride, and that would be Riley Reed. She'd have to be point guard. Riley Reed? She be saying nigger. She do? Yeah, she racist, bro. I ain't know that, nah. Okay. All right. I listen to porn with uh well I don't listen to porn. That should be on mute. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she said it in a porn. Hold no, on. Nah, nah, bro. Ain't no way Riley Reed saying nigga. <laughs> no, right. What the fuck? You do what I is get... this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> yeah, her saying nigga. Bro, she rapping? Ride face, put that water on your mustache. Porno tag on the Jeep, blue duffel bag. She fucking too many black men. <laughs> this this who you want on your list, bro? I mean, hey man. I mean, she gonna be saying <laughs> nigga in her head. That, that <laughs> nigga said that man. I wanted to say it more. She she gonna be saying that shit in her head. <clears throat> All right, bro. Hold up. I was about to say something when you brought up the uh the what's you said the steam burger. Yeah, steam <laughs> steam burger. You know who looked better than her? That who I that? would. This your list, but who that? Peg from Peg Bundy. Peg Bundy. Peg Bundy. This oh, said oh, Peg Bundy. Bundy. Um, 
Peg Bunny looked better than her. I don't know, man. Kelly, they had her Kelly looking, Seagal? They had her looking eccentric as fuck. She would definitely get hit, but they had her looking eccentric as fuck in, in that show. She looked good in Married with Children. She did, but the hair, I couldn't do the hair. Peg Bunny would have got fucked on, bro. That boy, nigga would have been like, hey, I'm here to fix your AC. That boy out tripping, bro. I would have been fucking Peg every night. <laughs> that nigga Al must have erect out his function. <laughs> <laughs> that boy ain't want to fuck her at all. <laughs> yeah, bro. He was tripping. And she used to wear the cheetah skin tights. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been fucking on, man. He be that shit around all the time. Boy, two kids. Nigga, we had about five <laughs> kids in the house, bro. <laughs> Al ass was tripping, boy. I be watching um, uh, King of the Hill. And mm. uh, that shit be tripping me out, man. That shit hilarious today. What? As an adult. I haven't watched it as a dope. Yeah, Whoa. man. In my thirties, but I've watched it within like the last ten years. Yeah, so I think that all of them shows kind of <laughs> like revolve around the same premise. I was thinking about that shit one day. Um, Married with Children, King of the Hill, um, uh, F is for Family. Mm. Damn, I, I missed that show. F is for Family is a great one. I go back and watch that shit all the time. Um, Malcolm in the Middle type shit. Mm. Them shows, them, them shows kind of fall on the same premise. You add the mom from Malcolm in the Middle, huh? You add the mom from Malcolm in the Middle. Damn, she would definitely get. She would. She could go small for it, power for it. You disgusting. All right, man. The sending listening question hey. hits up mail at ariopodcast dot com. That's mail at ariopodcast dot com. Go ahead and send those questions. Also, if you're on a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. Hop in that Discord. You can leave the questions there too. Hey man, first of the month, man. I know y'all niggas got them checks in. Go ahead and hop on that Patreon, bro. Sign up. Sign up. Five dollars and up. Going crazy on that. What I said last week, bro, I said we about to pump out that second episode on that Patreon. Yes, sir. So go ahead and hop on that shit, man. If you what that say? What they what they say? If you play you late, if you play. We're going to kill you. I'm just playing. <laughs> but you hop on that page. I ain't, I ain't going to kill you, man. Joe going to kill see, you. He, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was just about to say, he be on me when I make death threats. No, I'm joking. Joe going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I ain't really got no topics this week, man. But uh, I will say this, man. Rest in peace. You ain't feeling potty? Well, bro, if we do topics, right. we're going to be in that bit all night, bro. Yeah, you ain't lying. I feel like we we did a lot of talking in an hour twenty six. Oh, I will say this, man. Rest in peace. <laughs> you green, bro. Rest in oh, peace to the Kimbe Matumbo. Peter, yeah, the Kimbe Matumbo. See Rest it? in peace, Pete Rose. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We was just talking about yeah, that. Joe nigga. killed him. That's crazy to say. I didn't drop the episode yet. I'm supposed to be dropping. Don't it later. drop that episode. Bro. Don't drop the episode. Don't drop that episode, bro. We can cook up something better, bro. Don't drop that episode. That's gonna have to go in the vault. All right, bro. People. So me and Joe had dropped that. <laughs> the shit was funny. We bro. recorded an episode the other day, and this nigga Joe was mentioning Pete Rose. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't in a bad way. No, no, no. It was. It was actually in a great light. But yeah. All right, we got a nigga. We gotta be careful, bro. We gotta stop mentioning niggas. We, bro, because that nigga died a few days later, <laughs> and I was yeah. like. <gasps> We was giving, we was giving, um, well, we always gave Rich Homie Quan his flowers. Yeah. We gave Rich Homie Quan his flowers. He died the next day. Then we gave Pete Rose his flowers. All right, bro. We got to stop mentioning niggas, bro. Yeah. You, you might be the idiot. I think Devin got a, a couple bodies on his belt, too. Oh, that nigga got a, <laughs> that nigga got a legendary body. That nigga, Devin was talking about Michael Jackson. Michael oh, Jackson. yeah, I remember that but shit. He, but he was talking about Michael Jackson in a negative way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope that nigga Michael Jackson haunt that nigga every day, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can haunt uh, Devin. That nigga Michael Jackson would probably pull up to haunt Devin, and Devin will haunt that nigga. Oh, yeah. You can't haunt that nigga. That nigga's evil already, bro. Michael Jackson be like, hee hee, wake up, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. Devin be like, I'm up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> one last one, man. Rest in peace, John Amos, man. Yeah, for Legendary sure. Legendary, sure. man. Good for times. Sure. Yeah. He played in a lot of good shit. My favorite thing he played in was Coming to America. 
Yeah, he was amazing in Coming to America. McDowell. McDowell. <laughs> he hated that, that African nigga until he found out he was a king. <laughs> or a prince, rather. He said, we, he said, they got the Big Mac, we got the Big Mick. <laughs> what he said? They got the Golden Arches. We got the golden, I think he said golden acres or some shit. Like, I forgot what he yeah, said. Yeah, bro. He, he, he had that shit down to a T. Yeah. My son works. That's crazy. James Earl Jones died too. Yeah. They both was in that legendary movie. Huh. I seen, I don't know, I don't know bro name, but it was. Was they in the second one? Yeah, they was in the second one. Yeah. I ain't watched that shit, so I don't know. Well, yeah. I might have to watch it now. <laughs> bro, don't watch that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah. Don't watch it, bro. Don't watch that shit, man. <laughs> and then, bro, the white, I don't know the white dude name, rest in peace him. He was in the uh, Beverly Hills Cop movie. Yeah. He died, too. Yeah. The other day. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie Murphy, bro. You bad luck, my nigga. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Eddie Murphy, if you're watching this. He might be uh, just joining the Illuminati or, or having to. Uh, What's going on, man? Renew his, his contract. <laughs> what is going I'm on, bro? Joking, this nigga, bro. I'm, this nigga joking. A coon, bro. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. I'm joking, bro. This nigga joke. That nigga got to renew his contract, bro. Joe, Joe Wright. <laughs> Take anybody I work with. <laughs> this nigga Joe Wright. Chill <laughs> out, <Nah, just laughs> <like>, bro. <laughs> Jaguar Wright cousin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. Bro, this shit had me crying laughing when I seen it in the I'm Discord. about to just be silly, bro. This this video one of the funniest videos Dog. I heard this year, bro. This one, I don't know if this <laughs> AI, it might not be AI, but somebody, <laughs> some bone thugs, cross world, sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro. <laughs> When judgment comes for you, when judgment like, comes for you, why do you kinda do when they let the weather hide? When judgment oh comes for you, cause it's gonna I, I should have put the funny, please this is some play Charlie, and the booth is last money, and I'm gonna miss everybody, and the out the out the eye, look at the bumps of the fly eye. Can't play the stop a tune for me to say I Please stay proper sleeve, stop it up, please put up with a bleed, and the plumber glide, play, could play, who slap who step up, probably the black to pedal with a bump, but a bit of bump to pedal with five and days, can't even play, even though the devil's all up from my face, but we keep me safe in my place, but the best of bamboo deep, and I play a double blue, set the plumber glide, whilst it's up with the put up with the slow, what can I do? And I put a tap on it, how we do? Can I get a witness, part of a fool, part of a blast, this part of a so? We pray and we pray, bro. Every day, every this day, every genius. day, every day. <laughs> and we pray and we pray and we pray and we pray. And we pray, but the sun we rose, fire. And the bus over the side, but the little, 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 little blast I'm down the hill. It's by the stool. Instead of keeping them with your family. Exactly how many TikTok? days you got lasting. Were you, you laughing? Gotta, You're passing glass in the way. do over a minute, bro. <laughs> yeah, this over a minute, so he got that paid. nigga. That nigga finna get paid, bro. That That's shit was one. hilarious. Yeah, he ain't gonna get paid because I ripped this off TikTok and uh -huh. played it on here. So, well, I mean, yeah. from, t from the video. Itself, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it that nigga finna get. He did paid, another bro. one. He did another one. He did um, uh, nobody. It was by Arnold. Yeah, well, Arnold voice. Nah, that's crazy. He did Key Sweat Nobody. I couldn't even make that shit about 10 seconds in. <laughs> so I was like, bro, this is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I got to hear that one. Yeah, he did Nobody. Who can love you like me? That's exactly how he sounded, bro. I was like, man, what are you doing, bro? Nah, that's funny as fuck. Oh, my God, bro. All right, real niggas of the week, they need they ass beats. You sure you don't want to get Tiger's his flowers? Bro, I'm not a big Tiger. I mean, Ty, you know what? Give Tiger his flowers, cause it. I, I don't know. Going platinum today, not to say that. Like, oh, it's look at this hate. Look at this hate, bro. Nigga say, <laughs> give him flowers, but for platinum, bro, that ain't, that ain't no nah, shit. Bro. I ain't saying it like it ain't like it like it's easy. I ain't saying that at all. I'm just saying today you definitely got a lot more outlets <coughs> to wear. Songs can go platinum, especially if you know how to market them. Nigga. So shout out to him, bro. I was looking at this chart. 
It was like all the platinum and gold platinum. This nigga money bag yo had. Yeah, bro, this nigga. I was like, I listened to money bag yo, but I didn't know this nigga was going crazy like this. Nigga had twenty platinum plaques and thirty gold plaques. Bro, if you I know was marketing, like, I was like, bro, how? So one, what they're doing is spot like you see everybody pumping Spotify. Yeah, man, niggas is having motherfuckers flood to Spotify, rack up them the views. A lot of people ain't paying for Spotify, so they switch over to Apple Music and shit. Man. Oh yeah, nigga, I was listening to random streams up. I was. I, was the other I think day. Apple, uh, 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 Spotify paying more too. So have just just a collective of niggas funneling to one streaming service. Yeah. Hey, so the other day I was like, man, I want to hear old school Uzi. Yeah. So I went on Uzi Sound. I went on SoundCloud because Uzi got like a bunch of shit on SoundCloud that's like not it nowhere else. So I just started just like searching on SoundCloud. I didn't even know this. They got niggas like whole albums on SoundCloud. What you mean? Like, like they got like niggas like new albums for real. Yeah, like whole albums like uninterrupted, like unreleased. No, or, like the niggas albums. Oh yeah, so they 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 pushing to bring SoundCloud <coughs> back too. They got commercials on the radio about how uh, artists are being discovered from SoundCloud. La Tyler, um, um, but they Cash had, Cobain. They had niggas albums on Audio Mac too. And then I was looking around, all like nigga, I kind of understand why we play for streaming services. Of course, like. I can't go on SoundCloud and listen to an old Willie Hutch album. Right. But I was like, if I was like a young nigga and I was only listening to young nigga shit, I would not have Apple Music. I would just have a SoundCloud account. That's how a lot of niggas live. Yeah. Oh, That's man. how a lot of niggas live. Hold on, let me pull it up real quick. Like, nigga, I was listening to like all, because I hate, I ain't hear the Ooh last Uzi album. I just went on the SoundCloud. I don't listen to that shit. I was like, bro. I was like, if I was a young nigga, See, like, the new Flu- the Future album, the whole thing is on SoundCloud. Like, nigga, you just listen to it. So if y'all ever fucked up one day and y'all ain't got the $10 for uh, Spotify or uh, Apple Music or Tidal, just get you a SoundCloud account and just listen to that bit. SoundCloud might have found a way to bounce back and start paying niggas. <laughs> that ain't never gonna happen. All right, real niggas of the week. I got, shout out to 8 Ball MG. M- 8 M-J-G. Ball and MJG, man. Memphis Legends, bro. They got uh, Rhodes named after them. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, and Orange that's Mound. That's fire. I do not know. i seen several picks. I was kind of worried. I didn't see MJG in none of the picks. Really? No, it was just eight ball, so I was kind of, I, I didn't understand that. But I ain't about to question it, but yeah. yeah. Next one, I got uh, CJ Stroud. Yeah. Real nigga shit, man. He uh, flew his barber out from Ohio to live in Houston so he get a lineup every week. Hey, that's fine. Yeah. Lineup look Chris, too. Don't like bullshit. Hey. Hey, man. I fuck with you, nigga. Come on out. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with none of these niggas in Houston. Next one, man. Farewell. Dead Rose, man. He announced his retirement. He, he finally realized it was over. Yeah. He had got released by the Grizzlies. He said, he said, all right, bro. Let's go ahead and hang it up, man. Yeah. So. I mean, that nigga had a hell of a career. I salute him <coughs> wanting to continue playing. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a cool career, man. Started <coughs> off amazing, of course, man. Tibbs, you know what you did, Tibbs. You know what yeah. you did to him, Tibbs. I mean, even to say, like, bro, that nigga got some of the greatest highlights that we'll ever see for real. Yeah, one of the best dunkers. In yeah. It. So I mean, again, like, hell of a career, dog. So salute to him. Um, not many niggas get injured and keep their fan base the way that he did. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Keep that loyalty and shit, that love. Um, he also did a lot for the community. He did a lot for the culture. You know what I'm saying? So huge yeah. shout out to uh, Derrick Rose. I had a, a, a viral tweet on the day he retired. So I was joking. So I had tweeted. When a when an old hooper put that grizzly jersey on, it's over. So when I was thinking about the tweet, I was thinking about D Rose. I was thinking Allen Iverson when he wore the grizzly jersey, yeah. and I was thinking about Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> yeah. So a bunch of niggas start retweeting my shit, 
And they was putting like all the old hoopers that was wearing Grizzlies jerseys. And I was like, bro, I forgot these niggas were wearing Grizzlies jerseys. Yeah. Niggas had posted fucking Vince Carter, yep. Damon Stoudemire, White Chocolate, um, Joe Kim Noah. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, when the fuck all these washed ass niggas played for the Grizzlies? Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, maybe I was on to something. I was like, damn, the uh, Grizzlies might be the NBA Titans. I remember Vince Carter on the uh, Grizz, though. I barely remember him on the Grizzlies. Yeah, I remember him on the Grizz. <coughs> yeah, it's after a while, bro. That nigga played. He was playing for the Knicks. Yeah. He played for a bunch of people. Who else we got? Oh, I got Lotto. She real for this, even though this might be a slippery slope. And also, man, I don't know why she tweeted this. It was still kind of, it was like a backhand type compliment. So she got this song out. It's kind of blowing up. I feel like it's the best song of her uh, last album that came out, Brokey. I don't know if you heard it or not. No. Oh, yeah. That sound crazy. Yeah, you hate women. Um, that's, that's insane to say. So she hopped on Twitter. She said, I hate that y'all think I was calling hard workers Brokies. So I got 10K for whoever make the best video at their job to Brokey. Oof, I don't have to explain how that sounds crazy. I'll fly you out to be in the music video. No more waiting till your birthday to go out of town. All right, ma'am. You just said, <laughs> I didn't mean to call y'all brokies. But I'm going to insinuate in every way possible <laughs> that you are broke. <coughs> and I'm going to let you know I'm doing all of this because you broke. Yeah. Because one of the parts in the video, I mean, in the song, she was like, she was pretty much like, y'all bitches got to wait till y'all birthday to go out of town. And then she said, no more waiting. To, I'm going to fly you out. No more waiting till your birthday to go out of town. You And that's like the chorus of the brokey. That's crazy. I was like. That's crazy. That's a lot of man. She she kind of corny sometimes. Sometimes. All right. So this girl, she did a, uh, the challenge to the brokey. Now, this is going to be problematic, I think, because she doing this challenge and she got like all her coworkers in it. I'll play it. Okay, so the light skinned girl was the one that won the money. She was on the video like who who you think was the main girl? The girl the with the pink hat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well that she black too. She well, the, the darker chick. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know if That's it just her got she got fired, but like I don't know who else got fired, but she said she got fired for that video. But it's like, were you even the main character in the video? Man, she wouldn't even. But I just got fired because of that video of Big Lotto's challenge. She look Mexican. Yay. I'm glad I put six years in a company that would fire me in literally a day, a day, a day of posting one video, one video that harms nobody, that everybody <coughs> was actually literally rooting for and happy about, but whatever. Smart decision, smart move, you know? And then they put me on. It's called like an EFR list or something. Basically, I can never get rehired again. They they will never rehire me again. K, K, K. Thanks. Sixteen to twenty two. Thanks. All the bullshit I do with thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, she got fired. She ended up winning the money though. I don't ever understand throwing money up like that. Because <laughs> you got to pick it up. What well, Rory said, shit says I right. yeah. She looking decent. She got, she look, she look like she uh, look cleaned up from this from the first video. I will say this. Just I was just about to say that. I mean, she was, I was at like, work. Huh? She was at work. That's, that's yeah, you you right. You right. You right. You right. <laughs> that's messed up. I was about to say, like, but yeah, congrats on. Stop it, bro. Congrats on winning the money, but go ahead and pick that shit up. Yeah. And you can tell when she threw her lot of look at us, like, bitch, you oh, you only get one 10K. Yeah, like, 
I, I don't know who money you thought this was, but that's your. You finna clean this shit up. Yeah, like, bitch, I just went to the bank and got this money. And you ain't hanging out to do it. <coughs> Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I salute um, Lotto for. I, that's why I said Lotto was the real nigga of the week. Why? Because. Oh, no, no. Just for seeing the video and giving the girl the money. Oh, uh, I mean. But the thing is, it's like, nigga, you got. I'm sorry. You got to split that money with the mother motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. that's cool. But yeah, nah, like, I feel like everybody in that video should have. If, if that was the case, everybody in that video should have got a piece, yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? Like. <coughs> I think she was the only one that got fired. Well, at least she the only one that made a video saying she got fired. But even to that, like, I don't know. It's odd. It's all right. Yeah, because if I was in that video, I'm like, hey, nigga, you better give me some of that money. Especially if I was that first girl. The first girl looked like that was her video. Yeah. The I dark thought it was, girl. yeah. Yeah. Nah, you gotta break some of that money up. Matter of fact, she should have that first girl should have been one of the ones flying out with you. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, man. But you know, women are evil. <laughs> all right, what's going on? <laughs> I'm <bro>? just saying. <laughs> And of course, man. Like towards each other. Say <laughs> all oh, that don't help, nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We see it on Twitter every day. Hey, man. <laughs> and y'all niggas got shut the fuck up saying this girl was dumb for uh, what? I they were just calling her dumb. I was like, what did she do, dumb, bro? She just this nigga the ten thousand dollars. She brought. I'm, I'm gonna be sorry. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. She wasn't gonna get ten k liquid. Working at fucking Waffle House, bro. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't see how you could call her dumb. They were having fun at work. They yeah. work at Waffle House. That, like, <coughs> I could imagine that's a trying job. Yeah. And let's be honest, bro. She get the 10K. Of course, you're going to have to work again, probably. One, bro, what? How how long you think 10K going to last up? If <clears throat> rent 1500 let's just say. Yeah. It's probably going to last there. What's three it? months max. Well, women got women got bad spending habits. It might even, last three months for us. Even even, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like that's groceries. That's that's rent. That's you know utilities. Yeah. Shit like that paid up. You know what I mean? But three four months max. Yeah, she just take the ten k. I'm sorry, you got to split it up. But let's say she didn't have to split it up. She would have to. I would take about a month off. Not you got to think work minimum wage. Minimum wage is like twenty two thousand dollars a year. That's half of that right there. You know what I'm saying? In that term, basically. Yeah. Niggas can't survive six months on 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 a minimum wage job. Yeah, and I was, about, I was seeing some people saying she should capitalize. I was like, nigga, what can she do, bro? She can't like rap or something like that. It ain't like Lotto signed her and said, hey, you finna be in all my music videos. Hey, uh, I want you to make a Lotto juice or some shit. You know a what I mean? Lotto like, juice. A Lotto waffle or something. Ain't, no, ain't, ain't nothing she could do. That's crazy. You ain't got no real nigga to week? Nah. Dikembe Mutombo, man. Hey, shout out to you, man. No, 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 no. That nigga, they say that you, that nigga used to walk in and be like, "Who want a sex Matumbo?" <laughs> That's hilarious. Would dog. that be green and they never saw that? Who want a sex Matumbo? <laughs> yeah, like, would that, that, that be that green be and they never? <laughs> That's a crazy episode name, but uh, I'm not bad at it. <laughs> oh my god, that might have to be the name of that episode, bro. Bro, that you understand? That was a great. That's a great story. Who want to sex Matumbo? If I'm the man in my city, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. at his level. When that nigga came to the Sixers, that nigga saved, like... Yeah. That nigga was like, hey, we going somewhere. We finna do something. Hey, you know, I think we was on... I think we were talking about it on Pay the Bays. You remember that we were talking about uh, when you die, all your bitches come out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, this nigga Matumbo had bitches, bro. bro. That nigga had that nigga had women, bro. <laughs> bro, that nigga had some bad ones talking about... Oh my God! I can't believe, bro. That nigga had some bad young ones. I was like, "Come on, bro, Matumbo, like, bro, Matumbo. Who want to sex Matumbo, bro? <coughs> Zadeko is all about that confidence. Yeah, it's all about that confidence. Matter of fact, shit, it's a record called that uh, like, confidence. That shit fire. No, 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 no. Give me that pussy. Listen to that shit. What's that shit? Uh, bro, please. Don't, Ocean Alley, yeah. Bro, please don't play that fucking. Uh, what's that shit you be listening to? Fucking. <laughs> you lucky hate. I can't go think ahead. of the name of that shit, bro. Go hey, what you talking about? What's the nigga man? Hosier. 
No, bro. That's a whole new zone. Which one? Oh, no, no, no. This Ocean Alley. Nah, nigga, listen you be to listening to that nigga. What's the nigga? This this is a crazy description. Cut, cut that off, man. I just I just wanted y'all to hear the beginning. Y'all heard that? Bona bon, bona bon. What's that shit? You be listening to Smino? Smino. But yeah, his shit, his shit, I. He got some shit. Daffy Duck music. What's that? All right, this one from um. Some of this shit is eccentric. <laughs> nigga, please. It's fuck. You said a uh, uh, nigga put the mic down and got active. Well. Yakub, yeah. this is real Yakub of the week. We've been straying away from the Yakub. A couple of y'all been calling white people real niggas. Uh, let's, let's, get, let's get back to the essence, guys. Uh, less specificity. Yeah, bro. Vibes. Hey, Bob, can you hear us? Yeah, I got you. I got you loud and clear. And you can see right here, we've got this uh, this lady oh, drill. Paint the picture for the audio only listeners. Of course, it was a hurricane. Uh, hope everybody's okay. That's uh, what is it? Hurricane Helen, Helene, Helene, Helene. Yeah, it hit Atlanta crazy. So news reporter, he's in the middle of a scene and he see a lady in the background drowning. Into the uh, area that's flooded out and uh, she's screaming right now. I just called nine one one. I'm in North Atlanta right now on the corner of uh, Northside Street, Northside Drive. It's a pretty big populated area right here. Uh, she is still screaming, but we got you. We got you. 911, they're coming. You're good. You're good. Nigga, don't tell me I'm oh, good. Man, I'm it's, it, it's, it's a situation. We will get back to you in a little bit. I'm going to go see if I can help this lady out a little bit more, you guys. I'll be back. Yeah. All right, Bob, Bob oh, so has nice. got to go help them. Weather, uh, Fox Weathers, Bob Van Dillen saved oh. a woman trapped wow. in a car. He went Look at her. that. He's saving her. He called 911 for her. Bob is going to join us coming up. That guy is a hero. Wow. Now, someone mentioned in the Discord that it's staged. Here's my thing. I don't think that's staged. Here's my thing. I will say this. <clears throat> that 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 water is like his mid stomach. Yeah. I can definitely understand if she was a lot smaller than him, yeah. but it does look like she would have been able to stand <coughs> above the water. Ah. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. You also don't want to take that chance also. One hundred percent. But if he's gonna walk to the car, carry her through the water back, the risk is the same. Yeah. Also If he well, get not, electrocuted, she get electrocuted. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I'm just, I think the lady might just be too short. She probably she don't know how hot that yeah, that it's a woman at the end of the day, so she yeah. might be a lot shorter than I mean, yeah, I Because if cause if you look down there where he got it it is pretty, it's man. Like, it's, bro, I'm just gonna most say. adults are at least, <clears throat> excuse me, at the head at the top of I the don't, head. Race. I don't think that would have been smart for her to hop out that car. I don't think so either. But I am saying it to say the way that the situation played out. Yeah. I do think that it's easy to say this might have been a little salt and pepper. Well, you could also say this. Well, salute him saving her also. Yeah, for sure. If you look at his body language, we all know body language is good. He didn't want to save that lady. At all. He was like, he kinda, you got, they got you. You're good. He kind of had no choice. Like, bro, you on live TV. Right. If they, he would have never went and got that lady, he would have got so many bad comments on some bro, I can't go get that lady. Straight up, especially if something actually happened to her. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of had. He one of them things like shit, man. I ain't got no choice. You see the cameraman there. stay right where he was at. Nigga said, "I zoom in on that shit." <laughs> He's like, bro, bro, keep that shit. What, uh, what? Uh, they said, "Snow on the bug." Keep that motherfucker rolling. Yeah, that nigga was zooming so hard it started <laughs> looking looking like cell phone footage. He said, "Bro, matter of fact, we about to go on. We about to pull up Premiere Pro. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna add some rain to this shit." <laughs> All right, next one. It's also from Paperwork Sam. Young lady tweeted, being a bad bitch so hard, because I swear niggas try to make you suffer to humble you. Uh, this one young lady, she said, Zayna, her name is Zayna Bear. Mm. She said, I once asked a boyfriend, why do you only joke about things that you know I'm extremely sensitive about? He said, everyone tells you that you are so beautiful all the time, so I want to be the one to knock you down a few pegs. What's now, see, 
That's the shit that the woman, a, a nigga that hates women says. Yeah, I'm about to say that. that ain't real. That's abusive. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. They, you be trying to put them claims on me, but that's 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 alarm. Nigga. What claims I put on you, nigga? Bro, you said I hate women. You said it earlier in this episode. I mean, <laughs> nigga, that clearly not joking, bro. I would yeah, not associate bro. I with myself. My I wouldn't nigga. associate myself with a nigga that just hate women, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Now this nigga right here, I don't know this nigga. This nigga weird. Yeah. This not no real nigga the week, Sam. Yeah. This is like mental this is a mental abuse. Sam into them kind of relationships. Yeah, he like white women, so that's probably yeah. what that's the right his their dynamic. All right, they need to ask these. <laughs> now this lady's in bro. It was a little funny, I giggled a little bit, but this bitch need her ass beat. Literally, oh, for bro. real, for real. This, this would, this would, this. Would. <laughs> it's a nah. calling people acting like I found a lost dog. This was a trend, you know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, the, the first couple ones I seen, they were hilarious. Nigga, I was crying, laughing, but bro, that's evil. It's my nigga. evil as fuck, but funny. This dog named Coco. This one is funny too, actually. It's funny, <laughs> but it's just fucked up. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hi, I think I found your dog, Coco. It's a Yorkie Poo. Yes. Yeah, Um. I'm in Atlanta area. She's right here, but can you, just to confirm it's your dog, can you, like, call her name, please? Coco! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, you was an old stupid bitch, huh? You <laughs> <laughs> the, I wish she would have kept it going, bro. For real, the response was hilarious. <laughs> oh, you so stupid! Bitch. Yeah, she broke. She stroke. She broke straight code. She said, "Oh, you all stupid, bitch." I imagine that woman <laughs> was somewhere where she probably was. You know, she probably was getting a hair done in the salon or some shit. <laughs> she probably was, was at the bank. She might have been at work. <laughs> She said, Coco, Coco. They done found my dog, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she probably had her homegirl on the, on, the, on the other side. Yes, bro. Hey, they done found my dog, girl. She <laughs> probably, she probably oh, went you in, so stupid, bitch. She, she probably what? went in the other room. She probably don't speak it. She like, Coco, Coco. <laughs> Everybody, somebody on the other side smiling. Oh my God, we found Coco. <laughs> she probably was in front of her kids, bro. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, bro. Our kids probably got excited. Like, Coco's coming that's home. fucked up, bro. Damn, bro. That's, that's not nice, bro. Yeah, but it was, you yeah, know. I got this one cracker, bro. He going to run Hey, beat out this. Nah, one. this is insane. Beat out. He, 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 he root for your team, man. Cracker got on the Hawk Tour jersey. He yeah, hot to a 69. Guy. You can tell he probably bought this when the trend was going on, and yeah. it's like too late. He was like, I already spent 180. I'm not gonna wear this stupid ass shit. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That's sending the wrong messages. Yeah, <laughs> hot to a. Uh, what other ones do I have? Oh, this one dumbass dude, man. His daughter had uh, sent him like a flyer to like a, I guess like a seminar where they were like doing like uh, cosmetology and stuff, for st teaching young girls uh, cosmetology trade and doing hair and whatnot. Gotcha. So this dumbass nigga, he tweeted, I'm going to keep it a thousand with my daughter forever. Do something to help daddy out, baby. She said, uh, she started off the text. You should let me go uh, Go there. He said, what's this? First of all, dumbass nigga, read the flyer so you can know what the right. fuck it is. She said, it's like they teach me how to do stuff. It's basically cosmetology school, but for kids, so I can learn how to do hair, nail, or makeup. He replies, I think you should do something else. She said, like what? He said, tech stuff, lawyer stuff. Basketball, acting, entrepreneurship, something that is actually worth the time. Hair, nails, makeup. Don't make no money, boo. First of all, nigga. That's one of the, the, the biggest industries. <coughs> billion dollar industry. Multi-billion dollar industry. Yeah. And you said she should do entrepreneurship. 
Doing that hair, is, nails, makeup is literally entrepreneurship. Especially if nigga. she came to you with this at such an early age from the sounds of things. Yeah, she's 11. He said she was 11 years old. Yeah. And she are, nigga, when I was 11 years old, I was thinking about Pokemon cards. Nah, I was outside hustling. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about uh, Mewtwo and shit like that. I was not thinking about making money for real. So, hey, man, you, yeah, some people don't... Uh, Deserve nice things, and he said he said something to help daddy out, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Like, nigga, she living her life that was for a her. Crazy she, way to even put that. Yeah, like, nigga, she gotta live her life for herself, not you, dumbass, nigga. Yeah. And nigga said basketball acting. <laughs> people rarely make money from shit like that. Right. Nigga said tech stuff, lawyer stuff. He can't even like tell her exactly what to do. Right. Nigga just said lawyer stuff. I don't know, man. Niggas retarded, bro. Uh, I say the rest of these. Now I do this one right here. It says, "Sick, forty-one-year-old Detroit man denied bond after allegedly murdering his girlfriend's thirteen-year-old niece for being pregnant with his child." Wow. So we was talking about last week. We was talking about um. Marcellus Williams, he got uh he got executed, and a lot of people have been pushing the whole they don't believe in um, execution and the death penalty, and I'm I'm kind of different, so I believe in it. I think we should keep the death penalty and execution, but I think we should only keep it for like sick niggas like this, like a nigga like this he needs to die. See, here's my thing with that, and I'm just being real. I don't like that. On death row and shit, niggas are given 20 years type shit like that before mm. they're sentenced to die. 40 years, you got to serve 70 years before you sentenced to die. Kill them niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't put none of that stress and burden on the taxpayers for one. Yeah. But two, it's like, <coughs> why, you know, if you're going to torture a nigga, torture that nigga. But me, but when I was saying it, I was saying that I don't think that like a murderer, like somebody that's murdering, mm -hmm. that's just murders somebody, I don't think they should do the death penalty. I'm thinking, I'm saying like people, I think people who harm children and I stuff like think, that, yeah, yeah, they need to be on a death penalty 100%. and it need to be quick. Yeah. Yeah. If you out here like harming children, yeah, you need to get hit with some rocks. Yeah. Now, if you murder somebody, unless you like a, a serial killer, unless you like... Like um, Gacy or somebody like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. You need to be. Yeah, you need to be executed. Like a person like like Wayne. If you like Wayne Gacy or like Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah. you don't need to be sitting in sitting in prison for like thirty years. Right. You need to die immediately. Yeah. So, yeah. This nigga right here. This nigga needs to die immediately ASAP. One hundred percent. All right. Go ahead and do your thing. Need to ask me. Do I got any? I don't think I got any. You got two of them. Who, who, who is this? Uh, oh, man, this one was crazy. So uh, these people are walking up to a, uh, like, a bull scale. Shout out to uh, Damn It, D-Boy. Um, D-Boy, Damn It, Boy. Yeah, D-Boy, Damn It, Boy. Um, Oh, I've, I've seen this when I was in Vegas. You got to be 350. Yeah, you got to be 350 to eat for free. And, and just the fact that people are even walking up and, and weighing themselves and they being try, a part of the charade and shit is insane. Be free, bro. I respect that, but that's, that's, that's you know, I'm not going to speak on it. On this episode of You Some Big Motherfuckers, you know if you weigh 350 pounds or more, your ass can literally eat for free. <laughs> So literally the biggest sons of bitches on the planet Earth is coming out there to try to get a free plate. You gonna have to pay back. I'm sorry. Oh, man, she ain't three That's crazy. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with us as people. Like, have we lost our damn mind to like not realize that you are literally killing your damn Whoa. self by doing all this ignorant I mean, ass shit. Like one of the water balloons you laughing and he hides. Look at your damn you four <laughs> stomachs already. <laughs> Damn! This shit crazy. She ain't even want to see it. This shit crazy. Motherfuckers literally on a damn scale that weighs a whale. This the same damn scales they use to weigh cows and bulls, motherfucker. 
y'all literally the size of a male fucking safari lion. <laughs> this bitch is like three to five hundred pounds. Y'all ain't that damn far. Y'all the five. Four hundred pound woman is crazy. It's all women too. Yeah. That's a, that's crazy. Uh, it say kicks. This is yours. It say kick street. Oh yeah, no, no, no. This nigga hose. might need to be um executed. <laughs> Currently facing backlash after saying this about a baby on stream. This nigga might need to be executed, bro. He lost on gambling. Like he just on a losing streak. I want to rape a baby right now. I don't Whoa. give a fuck. I said it. I don't care. That nigga said, I, I said it, I don't give a fuck. That's insane. I think they stopped making the whole, what's the shit? I know it's called intrusive thoughts, but it's something that in our brain that stops our intrusive thoughts. Yeah. I think whatever that piece is, the mechanism in the brain that stops intrusive <laughs> thoughts, I think they stopped making that for niggas that's, that were born after 2000, and, like 2000. I mean, I think they would, whatever they putting in the diet. Yeah, it's like something is in y'all niggas' brain. Y'all can't, something not telling y'all to not do what you're doing. Yeah, that's insane to say, bro. Like, watch it. And then he said it and shut the fuck up. Like, <coughs> I that. Nah, he knew he was saying something wrong. Nigga said, Yeah, I said it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to be giving these fresh and fit niggas a platform, bro. Fuck nah, these fuck niggas. Them Goofy niggas. ass niggas. All right, this one from King. He got uh, Shannon Sharp, bro. Shannon Sharp spiraling out of control, bro. Yeah, for Between sure. Between him, this did Mama Shell. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking her. <laughs> fuck yeah, my. And that Mama Shell. <laughs> Between that and this. And damn it. Him going crazy. Nigga having Roy Rage on camera. This nigga arguing. And I it's ain't a, seen that. Bro, this this nigga, he's talking about some shit on. It don't even matter. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody had retweeted. They said, "Oh, I'm sure you don't." Nigga replied, "Why are you on my page? Don't you have another horse to rob of the of his hair? Stop trying to kill my vibe." This nigga said this shit to an account with a Megan Thee Stallion picture, bro. You don't know who Megan Thee Stallion is, nigga? No, he does not, but it was ignorant. To say it's an ignorant is. ass thing to say, even if it wasn't Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Nigga said, don't you gotta, bro, that's something Martin would say to Pam yeah, on yeah. Martin back yeah, in the day, yeah. bro. <sighs> that's some coon shit right there. Don't you got a horse to rob his hair from, bro? Yeah, nah, that joke definitely did. Yeah, that let us know that that whoever that Michelle was, that was a Caucasian woman. And not just that. I mean, again, I, I kind of feel like that shit was a PR stunt. Why you say that? Because, I mean, I think that they trying to find every way to get him more relatable. Him not, like, seeming like a masculine male in a lot of black men's eyes. <coughs> I think that was an issue for his, you know. Let's be honest, bro. Let's be real, bro. Out of all the niggas that, who, how many niggas that you think think he gay? Out of all the niggas on the internet. I don't know. I don't pay no mind to let's it. Let's say. I don't get into whether or not he is or isn't. Let's say about, let, and this number is probably inflated. I don't even think it's this many. Let's say 20,000 niggas think he gay. Right. Out of the millions and millions and millions and millions of niggas that's on the internet. Right. Who the fuck cares if 20,000 niggas think he gay? Ain't nobody about to risk their job at ESPN to try and persuade 20,000 niggas that think he gay. When at the end of the I day... I don't think it was that. At the end of the day, the 20,000 niggas still going to think he gay. I don't think it's the dudes, that. The I dudes think that it's... you said, my fault. Let me get my shit off Go real ahead. quick. I, them niggas still going to think he gay, bro, whether he do the PR stunt or not. You growling in a bitch ear like that? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna think you. Get, I, I'm gonna think you got something going on, something bro. When that you. shit happened, the niggas that I always seen that say he was gay said, "I think that was a man in that bed." That's crazy. It's nothing you can do for them yeah. niggas. Once a nigga, once an internet nigga think you gay, you gay, bro. Yeah, forever. yeah. Um, my whole thing is, I think it could have been a money stunt for like his sex shit. Mm. Okay. Talking about sex the sex pills? pills? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like, hey, we'll slide you two mil. We got something risky we want you to do. We think you'll be good. Here's how we cover the parameters. You do a spin off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They did sell the merch. Like, everything happened so fast after that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I get it. Today, we can move instantly on a lot of shit. But I kind of I kind of feel like that was a PR stunt. And I feel like ESPN in one of them positions to where they got a better excuse with this than they did with the Paul Pierce situation, for one. Paul Pierce don't make as much money as... As as Shannon. And then, two, um, I think that uh, Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett's show wasn't... wasn't, Like, you can can tell from the fact that it's not going still. You know what I'm saying? Like... It wasn't a good dynamic. Like, not to say it wasn't a good dynamic. It just wasn't working, you know? So, I don't think there was a loss when they cut him. I think Shannon Sharp, they might have looked at it and said, okay, this is going to blow him up. And he's already having major success on our platform. We can get past this. Yeah. Literally, only th- I think the only thing making money right now, ESPN, is probably the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the... Uh, Probably not Stephen A. The Pat McAfee show. Yeah, that's a good. Probably one. Shannon Sharp. Huh. Yeah. That's probably about it. I don't know. All right, I ain't giving this nigga a platform either, man. I don't even know. I put him in the notes. Charleston White ass. Yeah. Uh, last one. This lady. This one was crazy. Yeah, she said, bro, look too African for her. And she was African. She is African. May I ask where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, South Sudan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm African, but honestly, I like Americanized African men. Mm. He's just a little too African. Not in any insulting way, honestly. Okay. I'm not. Them niggas know. looking like. <laughs> <laughs> surprised. That's exactly not, not at all. <laughs> so, what made the you nigga say he's dressed like he's from African? I think the strong face some shit. Features, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And which part of Africa are you from? I'm half Kenyan, half Ghanaian, so okay. I'm like East and West. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay. Man, you. That was a dumbass way to answer the question. She, she, she remedial. She, the lady said, what part of Africa are you from not what is your heritage in Africa like <laughs> look at the loot the way this nigga looking in the camera first of all man we already know man them African women be liking white men anyway so yeah, I'm shocked 100%. she was even talking to them niggas yeah. you ever watched the show yeah I've seen some episodes <laughs> you've seen the one I don't really be watching the show but I watched the clips it was this one dude he was like a a uh, he was an author. He wrote kids books for PBS Kids, and he went on tour, doing a tour with PBS Kids. So the nigga fit was kind of lame. He had his pants hiked up all the way to his chest. Weird, oh yeah, I weird know fit. About, yeah. So all the women instantly popped their balloons, and then the lady was like, "Damn, you didn't get to do the chance." So the dude said what he did, and it looked like he had some motion. Yeah. So one of the girls was like, "Uh, I I popped my balloon on accident." Yeah, and then he and he was he started getting to know know her and whatnot. The girl had she was like twenty two, she had two kids, she had just got out like a, a eight year relationship or some shit like that. Yeah, she was a stripper with two kids. Oh yeah, nah. and this nigga was like, yeah, I want to be with her. I was like, bro, you crazy, bro. Oh, that nigga smoking dope. I was like, bro, you can't work for a PBS Kids dating a stripper with two kids, nigga. I was like, bro, what's wrong with dope. you, nigga? Oh yeah, bro, you remedial, bro. That's hey man, this may sound problematic, but that's one you just take down occasionally. You don't be in a serious relationship with a lady with two kids that's a stripper at twenty two, my nigga. Yeah, man. And you got a you got a booming career with PBS, nigga. Yeah. Bro, Wishbone wouldn't like that. Yeah, uh, Wishbone. <laughs> wishbone would not like like that if he found out you was you had dating a bitch with two kids that's a stripper. She told me something. I'm an exotic dancer. You like that? Exotic. Oh, you like that? <laughs> That's crazy. I work for PBS, bitch. I like cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, I like Arthur, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Don't shake that ass near me. <laughs> That's how I would have been on the act. I ain't gonna fuck up my bag. And she said, no, first of all, this is funny. She said, exotic dancer. You're a stripper, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, man. Shit. But uh, it's been another episode of R.E.O.P. This nigga here is all right, man. What? Bro, that's a hell of a way to end the episode. I ain't ended, bro. We still recording. Mm. All right. You ain't got no more than the ass beats? Nah, that's it. You need your ass beat. You need your ass beat, nigga. Right, bro. Let's rock, paper, scissors. All right. Whoever lose get their ass beat. Right. How that work though? What you mean? <laughs> How does it work? Like if you lose, if do I just gotta put my hand? I gotta do be like bro in that video. You seen bro get beat? Oh, you talking about the nigga about the cars? <laughs> yeah, bro yeah. put his hands in his pockets and just got beat up. Got his ass beat the entire <laughs> time. Nigga was on the ground getting strangled with his hands in his pocket. Oh, I'm my. gonna die today. Like, it was <laughs> funny when that nigga was strangling that nigga and he wasn't saying nothing. That nigga man said, "Come here, <laughs> like bro." He already getting strangled. Yeah, bro. Nah, you I can't think, strangle him more. I think mm-hmm. bro's getting frustrated because you gotta think about it. You don't want to murder the nigga, right? Right. It's like one of them things like you about that life and you not about that life. And I think he was like at the not about that life. And it, I could understand he was getting frustrated. He's like, I don't want to kill this nigga, but I'll need my money. It ain't a. It and ain't this dude about ain't giving me my not money. Not being about that life is one of those. Everybody's got a camera on me right now. I am about that life, but I ain't <coughs> stupid, nigga. Yeah. We also talking about twenty thousand dollars, if I ain't mistaken. Apparently, in the L.A. racing culture, they apparently that happens. Apparently, nobody ever paid each other for real. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah. But it's like, what do you do in that situation? Do you just keep choking the nigga? But it's like, nah, he's not going to give you the money. I'm taking keys. I'm taking everything. Damn. That's crazy. Nigga, wear the pink slip. I'm going to be at your door tomorrow. I'm taking <laughs> your driver's license, nigga. I'm going to be at your door tomorrow. You got to pull up on and beat his ass every day. Nah. You got to be like the uh, chicken on Family Guy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. All right, rock, paper, scissors. Little losers, they get, they get their ass beat. All right. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. You gotta nah, go you on slow. Shoot. You, you gotta slow. go on shoot. You slow, nigga. You gotta nigga. go on shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Nah, bro. Nah. You get your <laughs> go, go and put them hands. Two out of three. Put them hands in them pockets. Two out of three, bro. Put them hands in them pockets, bro. That was crazy. All right, I got one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. This has been another episode of R.A.O.P. I'm about to beat this nigga ass. You know what I'm saying? We'll see y'all next week. Hey, man, don't punch me in the face too hard, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, I'm going to bruise your body. Pause. Yeah, hey, Pause. Yo. Pause. That was crazy. Hey. <laughs> that was, that was nigga, crazy. Yo, you in the class. Hey. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? You yo. a homosexual. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you. But, nigga, don't be trying to pause in the pussy population, nigga, with your old, with your old sick dick.